button. We are still uh -huh. on the starting screen screen. The start is the skirking skook screak. Right, right. You know? Uh huh. You know that skirking scoon screak? You know? Uh huh. You know exactly what I'm talking Someone about. Someone at my work tested positive for COVID. Oh boy! Doesn't that mean you all have to, like, hibernate for two months now? Just him, in theory. Presumably we caught it early enough Relax. that no one else has got it, but we're gonna be like, sort of on high alert for a while. Yeah, of Especially course. since I showed up to work sick today. Yeah. You didn't- th well, I can already tell the kind of sick you have is not COVID. Right. Also, I would hope not, considering I've already had it and I have a vaccine. Yeah. Be a little bit bullshit. Well, the vaccine <laughs> for me to have it again. The vaccine doesn't prevent you from having it, but you know. I'm aware because I got it after I got the vaccine, but like, yeah, I, I would figure the vac vaccine plus already having had it would at least protect me. Yeah, I can tell it's not COVID because it se it seems just like you got a cold by the sounds of it. Like a, yeah. A really nasty cold, but yeah. Yeah. I, I'm i pretty sure it's allergies, because yeah. they've been kicking my ass. I've been sneezing so much. I got some allergy medicine, though. And my my uncle bought me some ice cream. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. <laughs> Even the wind cannot blow on forever. I'm um, eating some hot soup, and then I'm going to have ice cream. Yeah. Um. Come take a look. Well, I don't... I I would like to wait. I I want to be like I want to wait for more people to show up, but like, who, <laughs> right? A sill, probably. Yeah, let's go bugger. Actually, I can't because I'm sitting very doggedly on the full screen Discord screen so that I can stream it. So. Yeah, I'll bugger. Yeah. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it. Maybe that's their problem. Um, also, can I get you to turn the game volume down to, like, two or three, just while you're sharing the screen with me? Because that's the volume I have it at for streams. Yeah. Cheers. That way it's not too loud. Oi! Don't touch! I'm just looking. I found who? Mushroom meat. <laughs> Mushroom meat. <laughs> yeah, Mushroom. I got all the chasm. Actually, hold on. I kind of want those uh, three rows. What are the names of the achievements? And I'm going to tick them off. Uh, okay, and I'll, I'll just leave that up there. Oh, okay. Well, I want you to, to collect them as I tick them off. Okay. So, like, Let I'll tell. Yeah, I'll tell you the name of one. Okay. Uh, people of the Valley of Life. You can tick that off. All in capitals. Creed. Ten what the fuck is that? Tenebrous. Oh, yep. Yeah. You can tick that I think one it's off. Fred, eh? Yep. You can tick off Den of Thieves. You can take off of the mini human essay, whatever. Uh, not for long. There it is. You can take off not for long term consumption. And then, as far as I understand, it's literally everything in Chasm, right? Like, Chasm is 100% now. Already. Yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck getting yanked? Uh, so, we're doing pulls before stream starts. Uh, and mm -hmm. we're doing my pulls first, but because I'm going for a four star, not a five star, Tyler is doing my pulls for me. Before we do the pulls, though, I need to, I wanna like, we need to figure out if we're gonna go for Baiju or a, a Ganyu C1. One. Like, theoretically, right, at least. Uh, to answer your question that you just asked in, in Discord, Asil. I'm pretty sure Kave Kave seems fine. He seems just like a four star uh like Dendro DPS. Sort of he also seems sort of like a like a four star I'll hate them, um, funnily enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kinda funny. <laughs> From what I've heard, Baiju is fucking awful. Yeah, his Dendro application is so bad. The thing he brings to the table is healing, but like he's kinda like Yao Yao? 
But like, I can't even be like a better yao. -yo. I can't even be like he's a better yao. -yo. I could run. I could run the trials. If yeah, I think want. you know what. I think that's what we're gonna do. I've switched over, so now we can see your thing. Go ahead and run. You don't need to run Ganyu's trial. I'm pretty sure we are both like. I'm pretty familiar with Ganyu. Yeah. We'll do Baiju first. And I'm pretty sure I was doing Baiju's trial wrong. I know that his trial is just bad. So but... before you like jump in, let's go. Let's have a quick look through all of this shit. Baiju's elemental skill will pursue nearby opponents, dealing several instances of Dendro damage before returning to him and restoring HP to all his party members. When his elemental burst is unleashed, Baiju will enter the pulsing clarity state and periodically generate a short duration shield. When that shield's duration ends or it breaks, it will heal Baiju's own active character and unleash spirit vein attacks on nearby opponents. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the yeah, trial, yeah. blah blah blah. Um, so the idea of Sil is he's not just a healer, he also does dendro application off field. We see the Discord ship below the video. Yes, that is a thing that happens when you stream Discord. Tyler is the one playing. Um, I think she's saying you can hit the arrow and lower the screen. Can you? Want it what do you mean? Yeah. Whatever. Mouse over the, the there. You can hit that arrow down. No. Nope. Cool. <sighs> yeah. When on the road. Yeah. One hit, if you actually hit the arrow. Pause. Then I did. Appreciate the wondrous scenery along the way. And Not just... that arrow. About to collapse. The I one can... that's over your face. There we go. Okay. Don't you <laughs> Aretha me yourself. <laughs> Give him a break. All right. So they also gave us Singto and Lisa. So for first, yeah. So Baju, Baju is off field. Come a little closer. Uh, Mind the side effects. Let me read you a verse. Taking a turn for the better. Try not to enjoy this too. No, my sword. So, one of the things I'm immediately noticing is that the. I definitely wasn't playing him like this when I was doing my trial. Yeah. This is fine. Remember, health comes first. Surrendering will be gentle. You're in for a little shot. Come a little closer. The snake has voice lines. Of course the snake has voice lines. I've Let decided I'm pulling up by No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um So yeah, he, he's off field dendro application, he's also here. Uh do his charge attack a few times so we can see it, because it's a, it's the medical symbol. Like the snakes around the The staff of Hermes. Yeah. I think that's cool. Sorry, we're also getting two lots of music because my game is also playing music. So I just need to mute, uh -huh. mute that real quick. No wonder it was so fucking janky. There we go. That didn't look that bad. Yeah, I think so. He's basically sort of putting, like, doing the role of Yao Yao in any Dendro based team, where he's, like, applying Dendro fairly frequently off field and also applying a lot of strong heals. Um, I think you also need to. I was, I was hoping before you had left to, that you would, like, have a look at his talents. Um, so that you could see what his, uh, like, ascension talents and stuff like that were. Because I'm pretty sure he has. It's either him or his weapon is he has a buff, a party-wide buff, based on his max HP. You build, you build buys your HP. Um, he has a party-wide buff on his max HP, I believe. Yes, here it is. It increases their Dendro reaction damage based on the amount of thousands of max HP Baiju has up to 50,000. So max of 50? Well, it's 2% for every thousand for uh, Aggravate and Spread and 0. Uh, no, 2% for Burning Bloom, Hyper Bloom and 0. 0.8 for uh, Aggravate and Spread. Hmm. 
it, it is, and it's very easy to build a character to like 50k HP, especially a catalyst character, because there's like a good swath of HP catalyst options in this game. Um, his, his weapon, he'll be obviously his running ones? his fucking, his one, yeah. Well, I just wanted to see if his signature catalyst was HP, and this it is. It's also a... Whoa, that's actually really good. His weapon's kind of dope, I'm not gonna lie. For him, it's very much a... This is Genshin going backwards uh, to one of those places where the, the weapon they've made is very much the weapon good for this character and no one else, because no one else needs elemental... Uh, like, no one needs EM a lot of HP and generates a lot of shields. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, that is very specifically <laughs> Baiju. Oh, yeah. poor baby! Oh, it's just some chronic problem I have. Poor baby, what's wrong? Yeah. Um, he genuinely seems, uh, so you're saying that he, he might actually seem pretty good then? Yeah, I think Kassil's saying, okay. saying, seems fine, people calling him bad or just stupid. Um, Alright, and, and now Kave. Yeah. So Kave, we're noticing already that he, he, do, he, he kind of performs as a, you don't know for sure. I, I He's recognize that. He kind of performs in like the same role as Al Haytham, as like the Dendro driver. Like he's he... definitely main D main DPS. Mm -hmm. Kave's elemental skill can deal Dendro damage across a large AOE and will cause all Dendro cores within that area to burst immediately. After his talent and architect's undertaking is unlocked, when the attacks from the Dendro cores hit Kave, he will also recover HP based on his elemental mastery. His elemental burst will allow his normal charged and plunging attacks to temporarily be converted to dendro damage and increase their attack AOE. During this time, so all like dendro Noelle. cores. <laughs> yeah. During this time, all dendro cores created through the bloom reactions triggered by his own party members will deal more damage when they burst. Additional elemental orbs will drop during. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, before you even start, just do his charge attack for me real quick. Because I really want to see him. Yes! I love this so much. All the pretty girls walk like this. Yeah, exactly. Also, I love it. his- His, his Merak gets upset. His what? Merak is the suitcase's name. Also, it's a toolbox. Whoa, what the fuck? What is that? What? Let's do- I've, a... I've never seen that, I guess. Does that get explained in, like, some story quest I haven't done yet? Well, it gets explained in the event briefly. It's just his toolbox. He made it. It's a robot. Yeah. Um, you'll yeah, likely- It stores all his shit. You'll likely probably want to put mold flower on him, obviously, because it's an EM sword. Uh-huh. Um, maybe anyway. I don't know. I'm just speaking out of my ass. Uh, he's got the forest regalia. Yeah. Um... Yo, this twig just jumped up my want list real high. Baiju or Kave? Yeah. I'm thinking Kave. With, <laughs> with the, he doesn't touch his weapon when he swings it. I fucking love it. like <laughs> that. The, the character. He doesn't touch his weapon once. Yeah. Not one of his attack animations is like even like. Oh, I bet his plunge will. <laughs> I bet his plunge will. We can't really test that unless you know how to dragon strike. I'm gonna jump off the wall. <laughs> nah, that doesn't work. Oh. Okay, he does with that one. Oh, but then he like. Oh, so <laughs> did you see? He like. Oh, yeah, he oh like my goes, hand. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, That's these, heavy. these things are heavy. <laughs> Why do people use these? <laughs> oh, I, I want him. I definitely want him. No, I, I was, I was like umming and ahhing. A hundred percent want him. All right. So yeah. He... Also, I I like how all of his swings are like. You see how they're like drawing circles. Wait, what? Oh my like, god! Like look at the he's... look at the pattern of his swing. He's a he's a projector. It's it's a pro yeah. Yeah, a protractor. It's a protractor. Yeah. Also, right. when when his burst activates and it gets some um, dendro enhanced, uh, it turns into like really pretty um like flowery patterns. Projectors. Yeah. Yeah. Like he went to because the girl, like, this, like, like, he, like he went to the girl boss store for his mathematics like it's, equipment. It's the draft. It's the draft versus the finished copy. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Gonna get, uh, gonna get synced up. 
<laughs> yeah. Get Sucho's ult. <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> yeah, be ready to use this E to, to pop Come the cores, remember? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's actually like kind of doing good. clear. Oh my god. Breaking new ground. Scanning. The enemies <laughs> melted at the end. <laughs> okay, so. What does Ganyu C1 do? It's, it's going to have to be personally sucks the dick off of the player every day if it's going to be <laughs> Baiju. But, because, like, even if Baiju's only okay, like, being that, like, being that he's not Daya shit means that I kind of want it, you know what I mean? Charge to, charge level two frost flake arrows or frost flake arrow blooms decrease opponent's cryo res by 15% for six seconds upon hit. It also regenerates two energy for Ganyu. This effect can only occur once uh, once per charge level two arrow, regardless of the frostbite arrow itself or the balloon hits the target. Meh. It's just fifteen percent more damage and slightly more ult up time for. Her. Meh. Um. Yeah, I definitely like. I want Carve a hundred percent, but I definitely want to get him on Baiju's banner. Oh, yeah. Like, you get what I mean, right? Like, if he was Daya yeah. bad, like, no. But he's, like, even if he's only kind of good, like, that's still really good. Even if he's, like, Sino good. Yeah, exactly. Because I love Sino. And I love the mm -hmm. Snaker's voice lines. <laughs> Do you want me to just immediately add the Genesis yeah, crystals? Yeah, no like reason. That, yeah. Oh, don't All have right. to make it so obvious that you're paying for me. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just- I was like trying to say it in a joking way, I was gonna be like, Mommy? Daddy? Um... Oh yeah, Amos Bo is in there as well. I don't need it, I've got two. <laughs> uh, anyway. Alright. Wait, is that Ziphos again? No. What I actually that? looked because you- That's, um, whatever the Claymore of this set is. The Claymore of Ziphos? Yeah. So it'll have the same effect of, like, ER sharing, I assume. Can you look? And I also don't know what that catalyst is, either. It's the catalyst of the Zippo set. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's not the right button. Yeah, it's the little magnifying glass. Nope. You can't click on the weapons here. Hmm. The little magnifying okay. glass near the word Amos. Yeah, there you go. Those pictures look exactly the same. I don't know why I can't. Alright, whatever. The Makahira Aquamarine. Oh, this is slightly different. Yeah, they tend to be. Oh, okay, this buffs attack. That's kind of neat. Hmm. And then, what's the, the Catalyst one? There's bonus attack as well. Okay, the Catalyst being attack is kind of less useful. But... Mm -hmm. That greatsword All would right. be another good use, uh, like, option for Carvo, ironically enough. Probably, yeah. Um. Alright. Yeah, we'll go just... for it. Uh, do single pulls, yeah. Do single pulls? Uh, because I don't... Uh, can you check history? How far am I away? Because I did some more pulls after I got Nyahida's C1. Um... So 5, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40? What the f- Okay, apparently we're 47 pulls in. Nice. Wait, hold on. No, I've got like 25. I still might! Fuck it, let's go for Baju. Let's go all the way. Pump everything into it. Emerald Orb. Mm -hmm. 
And you'll be pulling on Ganyu's. Oh my god, he came home for once! See, I told you. You and your fucking I always get the four stars. Now get me like three cons of them. <laughs> I can I can usually get at least a C3 while I'm going for a five star, so. Yeah. Probably not, but like we don't have that many pulls. So, yeah, Kandaki. Kandaka. Alright, single pulls. Yeah. Yeah, you can just skip anything that's blue. Hey. Fuck. Yeah. I have personal hatred for Veronese Greatsword just because of the amount of times I saw it while pulling for the mm -hmm. weapon banner. Fair. Like me with Mona. Yeah. The unfortunate thing about using my 4 star luck is now you have to deal with my 5 star luck. I respect that. You fucking skipped that one very quickly, Tyler. Whoops. <laughs> it could have just been to. just buys you pops up immediately. <laughs> just <laughs> I didn't mean to. Rather undignified, but I guess we're here now. <laughs> uh go All ahead right. and buy the one medal you can with the star glitter. And I've already bought the five and five from the Stardust. Yeah, okay. I will continue pulling as I do my dailies and stuff like that. Like, as I accrue more resources. Because, yeah, I would like Baiju. And I'd like more cons of Kave. Boop. Um, I pooped his little nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got Kave at least, and that's something. You did. Um, There's no such thing. Yeah, how far can you level him already? He'll be right in the right, like, all the way. Alright, I. Yeah. Do that. Hmm. Yeah. Where's my key? He's uh, looking for his key. Oh, not again. Huh, you did five instead of six. Yeah, I do that. Okay. Five. It's probably. No, it's probably better. I don't know if it is. I just kind of click the buttons randomly until something satisfies me. I can't even get it past 20. Lol. What the f. Yeah, because it means the new flower. Yep. Yep. Boop. Yep. I, I, I... He's got a bird. Yep. Can if you... not married, why matching constellations <laughs> and idols? Can you slap him in the friendship pot next hmm. time you go through the dailies? Replace whoever else is Where's there. My... Yeah. Oh, not again. <laughs> He's sad he his I also love how messy his hair is. It's like artfully messy though. Oh yeah. He's so pretty. Yep. Hmm. Yep, I like him. Um so <laughs> Can we have a look at his talents real quick and see what everything scales off of? Like, his attack will scale off of his attack, obviously. Um, it doesn't, it's just that means it just scales off of his attack. I believe the, it, the only thing that scales off of something else is that, um... The, well, you didn't check uh, that. I had it up. You skill attributes, Tyler? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to check. 80 cost alt, though. He is a bit of an expensive boy. <laughs> but nothing has any scaling on it, so you just build him for his personal damage and let his skills do the rest. Probably want to have a little bit of elemental mastery. Just, uh... Well, I don't know. No, it doesn't seem to. Oh, there we go. No, that's just healing. Who fucking cares about that? <laughs> you don't need. Well, okay, actually. So, as far as I understand, when you apply of 
pyro or cry, uh, cryo, pyro or electro to a core, it immediately explodes it. Is Carve going to be in a hyper bloom team, or is he just going to be in a bloom team? I. You get what I mean, right? Because my he... instinct says hyper bloom, but he. He part of his damage from his E relies on popping the orbs, the cores themselves. That's what I mean. Right. So. I guess it would just be a bloom team. Hmm. I wonder if he'd be really good with Nilo then. Because isn't her thing that she makes normal bloom, like, ridiculous? I think that's her thing. I don't know. I haven't really looked into her. Yeah. Artistic integrity, I love that. Oh, ingenuity. Never mind. That's my eyes for you. Because he uses Marek's mapping ability for offensive purposes. Yes. Marek was created through the modification of ancient technology. It may have some other functions apart from mapping work. But yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what would you want to build him off of? He doesn't have any EM scaling personally, but... If you're not having an Electro or a Pyro character explode the cores, isn't the person who made the core with the Dendro reactions EM the one that dictates its damage? Well... Right? Or is it the Hydro? I suppose. Is it the Hydro or is it the... I don't- the it wouldn't- I don't think it'd be the Hydro. No, because it- you slap Hydro- I think it'd be the Dendro. The- whoever's making the cores. Hmm. The Dendro. Whoever's popping them, basically. Yeah. Does it say anything else in skill? No, it just pops them. Does early dendro damage and pops. It's whoever applied the second element to make the core. Right, so in this case you would be dendro because you're using you usually applying hydro first. Asil, help us figure this out then. Like what how do you think we could do you think what how do you think you build Carvo? Cause like Yeah, his skill and shit, uh makes Dendro core- like, he, he pops them himself rather than, like, giving them the third element to make them explode. Like... Of course, you could choose not to do the E and just focus on using his burst to do a lot of Dendro infusion and, like, make the cores. And I mean, his E just... still does damage, so it's not like, you know, it yeah. wouldn't be worth doing just for damage. It'd just be a matter of not being able to take advantage of the core popping because the cores would presumably already be popped if you, say, have Kuki as the um, hyper bloom. Yeah. Doer. Does does the, is there not a reason to do the other the the pyro one? By the way, like oh, um, is there no Burgeon? Is Burgeon not a thing? I haven't seen any. I've seen loads of like. Uh, I just aggravate. haven't worried about Burgeon very much because uh, all of my good pyro characters are tied up in other teams. So I've mostly just been focusing on um, the electro. Hold on, but, Dendro. but Toma is fantastic for Burgeon, isn't he? Yeah, but I haven't really. No, cared. But, no, but I have. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. But you're asking why I no, not I, I'm not asking about... why you aren't talking about it. I'm just asking like, like is it a thing? Like, okay. Virgin is good. Let me right? rephrase then. Uh, I haven't looked into it at all because I don't care. <laughs> so I don't know. Tyler, the moment the conversation goes to a build you haven't talked about, you can't just immediately fucking dismiss it. This is- I want to talk- like, I'm not. You are! That's exactly what you're doing. I'm just saying that's why I haven't talked about it or, like, mentioned anything related to it at all. I'm also- like, I was so bad in general, I've noticed that no one really talks about virgin teams. Like, I see lots of Hyper Bloom teams and I see lots of Aggravate Quicken teams. Because they're just not as good as the Hyper Bloom and- Aggravate quicken teams. How come? Like, does Burgeon have a smaller reaction? Like, no, like, does it have a? How do I word it? Um, does I it... would guess because it's less reliable for damage. Unless you have, I guess you have someone collecting it. But like, Hyper Bloom is literally like guided missiles, so that's a little easier to pull off. Guided missiles? Do hype? How is it guided missiles? 
hyper bloom when you when you hit those cores with electro they turn into essentially guided dendro missiles <laughs> really yeah i guess i've never seen did this not, did you not see that during by juice trial i was doing it no it was too much going on on the screen and it was kind of like lagging okay fair well they pop into like these dendro sneaky things or something huh they... whereas virgin just makes them explode where they are yeah <laughs> Which I suppose if you were to make a team with like say like Kazua and to like scoop up all the cores in the one place and then like hit them with Pyro to uh explode them all on one on one in one group mm -hmm. of en enemies or on one big enemy, then like that would be effective. But that would be my only thought on the matter, I guess. <gasps> Do you have anything to say about Virgin teams, Asil? Cause like... Who here do you care about the least? Uh... Farazan. Fucker. Little. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly in line. <laughs> no one talks about Belgium because it's more restrictive. Is that what uh, we were talking about? How it doesn't. What I said. Yeah. Hmm. Also, does the does the core exploding with Virgin hurt you? Oh, I mean, I assume so. Just like all the other explosions do. I don't know if Hyper Bloom hurts you. Though. I think it does. I'm almost sure that all the core explosions hurt the player, but I guess I could be wrong about that. Like, I thought that was just a key component of Bloom in general. Well, Bloom... When no, the, the Bloom when as the a whole, is... Tyler. That's what I... Like. Yeah, I know... Yeah, I know when the... If the, you don't do anything, the cores, they explode and that hurts, but I don't know if... If when you burgeon them... Quit following me. Or hyperpulling them that they still hurt you. Hmm. I know they definitely hurt the enemy. Quit following me. Think of it this way. You can keep on logging off. I was just reading chat. I didn't mean to qu the, to log off. I was just gonna leave the teapot. Well, you can log off. I suppose you're done, right? It's your turn to do pulls. Let me go into BRB so that you're. I was just gonna do your slow. transformation. Oh. Your sure. paramedic transformer. Paramedic. Is that not it? Parametric. Hmm. Uh, masks. Just, no. Just dump masks. Just put, a, hmm? put 150 of the white masks in. I was gonna do this. No. How many do you put in there for that? 38. Yeah, no. Musks. Or arrows. Just because that's the most mm. I have. Yeah, my, I was... Alright, whatever. I don't... I, I have fully decided that... Darn. You didn't quite put it on the glass. Yeah, I suppose I didn't. I feel like Scarrow would be, yeah. Just... Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's definitely grass under there, but okay. Nah. I bet Zhong Li's E would pulse and fill it up. But, you know. Yeah, I'm not as fast as I can attack. Cool. Shit. You need to apply Hydro or Dendro to a man, then the other of those two. Then apply Pyro to the core. Then you need to apply Hydro instead of Dendro for each loop after that point because otherwise you're just going to keep burning and then vaping that oh oh yeah oh you yeah. gotta have some way to nullify the the pyro you apply yeah that's a good point actually i guess that would be where the animal would come in there's some if you have like animal cat there's positive. some variation in hyper bloom comps but virgin literally has one functional comp what is that functional comp 
kind of guess it involves Toma and maybe Kazura. Huh. Too slow. But yeah, you're on BRB, Silas, so you can safely log out. It's Toma, Dendromane, BPS, two hydrogens. Alright. You know, that wouldn't be terrible. Because Toma, Dendromane, DPS is Carvo. <laughs> right? And then two hydro units. I don't have big cock. Tyler has told me that they're doing perfectly fine with Mona as the Hydra application for their Bloom team. Well, hey, don't put words in my mouth. I just said that, in theory, she'd work fine. What do you mean, in I theory? I have not actually run the team, because I don't have artifacts. That's not what you yet. said to me! Don't you tell me putting words- that you said- Oh, Tyler. I did not say that. Well, I said- That's exactly what you said. Mona applies Hydra perfectly fine. I've applied Hydra with her in other scenarios Tyler. in which she's worked perfectly fine. Tyler. I had a freeze team before Kokomi and I used Mona for it and she did fine. Tyler. What? You can't make me look bad like that. I... Mm -hmm. You're gaslighting me right now. I am not gaslighting you. You explicitly oh. said that that was your team. I did say that was my team. I didn't say I'd run them yet. Oh and my like god. Yeah, okay. You understand that that's gaslighting me, actually, Tyler. It's right? Not. Yes, it is. It isn't. I'm just. Babe, I'm gonna gaslight you I'm today. Just, just... You're gonna what? You're gonna gaslight me? I didn't say that. You're overreacting. I'm not <laughs> gaslighting you. I'm just gently turning the knob on this uh, here pipe over here. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Literal interpretation of Gaslight. I was referencing the story to... Yeah, the term's based off of, yeah. <laughs> Gate like gas boss girl keep. Girl keep. <laughs> girl keep. Alright, yeah, we're on your stream. Go ahead and do your pulls. Unless you have purchases to make. Mm. I keep girls. And I like ga gates. And I, the other one. <laughs> you gas boss? Because that's yeah, kind of gross. Yeah, gas boss. Yeah. <laughs> I gas boss. Sure. Alright, here we go. Gas keep girl like gate boss. I I'm having a lot of fun mixing these around. Oh, hey, the bell. If you ever get Daya, you can make her gas boss I have. Form. I have, like, two of these. You can give her uh, like one of them for her AFK build. I have one of them that's refined five already. Yep. So, that's fun. Gonna get you, Ganyu! Oh, and Hi. there he is. <laughs> You're gonna get a high. And a jungling. Yeah. Who has Pretty been seasick cool. since the dawn of time. <laughs> Ever since Ryan. Hey, look, it's there for you as well. Yeah, it is. Fuck that sword. <laughs> Possess and defer her to lung! Well. I don't think mine is. She's, she's C6 now. Or she's been C6, I suppose. Hey! Place your bets, everyone. You know what? I'm actually not feeling good about you, Tyler. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling good about it. It's too early. It's gotta be a fucking. I don't know. Chi Chi. Maybe it's the. Uh... Oh neat. Oh neat. Oh, oh hey. Hi, <laughs> <I> got you. <laughs> Hello, darling. Now the oh, question right is: the Do you want Kave? Cons, and should you pull on Baiju's banner for them? Because having it's it's again, it's one of those situations where it's like you might as like, well not might as well, but it's like it, you know, Ganyu C one is kind of only okay, you know. 
Or at least it seems like it's only okay. It's just a bit My of extra. My debate is more... Well, I guess like, it's... Oh, like, actually, no, Amos Bow. You got you with Amos Bow really, really I fucking... have an Amos Bow. That's oh. not the concern. Okay, then... My thought is just, you know how much I fucking need five-star weapons in general. Yeah, but I don't think you'd want uh, Baiju's... Uh, what? Pardon? Excuse me? Pardon? Oh my Excuse me? Fucking god. Excuse me? Was that a one pity? That was a one 50 pity. 50-50 win? That, that was, was a, a one pity. pity 50 50 50 win. I'm sorry? What just happened there? That was a one pity 50-50. Oh, but, but, uh, and but, now for the TikTok, uh, another five star. <laughs> Oh, flute, yay! <laughs> For his daughter, because I gave Chi Chi the flute. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? That was a one. That was a one pity fifty fifty. I think I need you to say it a few more times until it sinks in. Yeah, one pity fifty fifty. Like that was huh. Ganyu on the last okay. one, and then Baiju on the yep, first. That one. was Ganyu right at the end, and then, and then that was a one pity the very fifty fifty. First... That was a one pity fifty fifty. Okay. It sure was. Asil, were you here for that? Did you? Tyler kicked your ass. Too pity hu <laughs> too pity who tell who, am I right? <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> You're gonna fucking clip it. <laughs> well, I will clip that later, but at first I'm just I just in the in the Discord just seeing if Asil was on the stream for that. Cause the fact that she's quiet right now makes me think she didn't see what the fuck just happened. Yeah, she would have. She would have reacted very quickly. <laughs> Remember how uh, I was like pull on Baiju's banner. Remember how I was the one who said to do that. You did. You did. I'll give you credit for that one. Oh, cool, give help me get Baiju now. <laughs> I mean, okay. What? No. <laughs> Should now you now getting that weapon feels like a good idea. Baiju works perfectly fine with Thrilling Tales though, which is hilarious. Sure. That's probably what I'm gonna slap on him if I get him. I have multiple Thrilling Tales. I think everyone does. Uh, yeah. I didn't for a while, but I had to because like. I've been like saving people that I was on. I've been saving like three copies of every five of every four star, uh, no, every three star weapon now. All right, let's. There we go. Unbelievable that I still miss the one pity fifty fifty. The one pity fifty fifty. It rolls off the tongue really nicely as well, <laughs> doesn't it? You got three new characters in this I fucking did. session. <laughs> and two of them are five stars. You I know what? I can't believe that. This is... The whole game has been f dicking you around with five star luck. <laughs> this is the one time it's like giving you a pass. You're never going to see this again. It, it was like it was like a bit. It was building towards this punchline. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole time. <laughs> it was just for this. Uh, I probably don't have enough no. talent shit. Of course you don't. One pity, fifty, fifty. Hmm. One pity. Uh, uh, where's my? Actually, it'd be even funnier if you say it like, kind of slant, like one pity, fifty, fifty. You know. One pity, fifty, fifty. Yeah. Hey, I can ascend them once. Just pissed furiously. Why are you this pissed yourself? Nice. Hey, get that blue medal and pull a mono. <laughs> hey, Asil, do you notice anything new about the characters I have up here? The one pity fitty fitty happened. Tyler fucking pulled Ganyu. I, I pulled I pulled Ganyu and then I was like, let's do a ten pull on Baiju's banner and Immediately. One the pity. first one. One pity between them and Tyler won the fitty fitty. One pity fitty fitty. Two pity who tell who, am I right? So yeah, uh that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
So I have Baiju now. Yeah, the only way that record is going to be beaten is if someone else pulls three five stars in a row. <laughs> like, at this point. Hmm. Uh, wh uh, where's my... I still can't do that. So were you, like, being serious about helping me get Baiju? Yes. Why? What do, What have I done to deserve this? Encouraged you to pull on the banner? Is that- Uh, well, no, it's more like you're my friend and I like you. You like me? Like, yeah. like me? Like, I like you, like you're my friend hmm. and I like- you Got any more? For you. Father Tyler, can I please get some primos for a Ganyu if I don't get her? Yes. <laughs> Wait, you just... have a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sim circle around money, Tyler. Where's my key? I mean, yes, but also you have a job. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, 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 she doesn't. Hell no, I don't. Yes. You haven't, you haven't quit yet. You quit already? Yes. All right. Yep. Why is it that I know that before you? I forgot. Uh huh. Okay. Alright, well, you two are gonna have to wait until I get Give to her me. Amos. Give her All Amos. Right. Uh, Give him. Quit like two weeks the ago. The child has been holding this for you. <laughs> Which means he's gonna do even worse now in the <laughs> child deaths. <laughs> Not that he was doing great, because this hasn't been leveled at all. Yeah, give her Amos. Give Kaveh the mold flower. I suppose. Actually, yeah, so Asil, now that we've got you back again to continue talking about character building stuff. Here, I can have two refined five bells now. <laughs> I assume, Kave. it is... So because Kave's not triggering any... He's not triggering the explosion of the bloom reaction. He doesn't need... Does he need EM? Like, what, what does the mold flower do? Is it a team EM weapon? I can't remember. The regalia... Or whatever. I don't know. I don't have it. No, the mold flower. Oh, yes, the, the thing flower. I said. Fucking. Oh, it's mailed. Mhm. Mm Mai. Okay. If you make plant, he need em. Really? Yeah, I think she. Yeah, if, she, if she's saying if he's the one making the dendro cores, then it's gonna be dependent on him. Okay, but well then yes, he is. So yeah, Mold Flower, because it buffs both his attack, which makes him hit harder, and his EM, which makes the plant hit harder. So I think Mold Flower literally really. is fucking perfect on him. It's also so gay. Ah uh, yes, the one event Wep I missed. It's literally fucking perfect for him. It buffs his attack and his EM, has an EM main stat. How many EM main stat greatswords are there, Asil? I'm pretty sure there's two. Die in America. I would if I went there. Oh, rain fucking whatever the fuck, yeah. Well, and greatsword, I assume? Oh no. Great... I guess this wouldn't be terrible because it's affected by Hydro, and uh, presumably if you're doing a Bloom team with Kave, then they're gonna be affected by Hydro. No, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I think Rain Slasher is just a good alternative if you don't have Mold Flower. Because I wonder who, how you wouldn't have Mold Flower, right? I guess you could use the Forest Regalia, like his, um... The Forest like Regalia his... would be really good as well. Because it gives him ER, which he kind of needs with an 80 cost ult. And he can just have... Thrilling Tales. He just needs a HP book. Yeah, you can have this. Yep. I guess I gotta switch Mona off to something else. I don't remember what I just gave her that for. Yeah, shouldn't she want like Mappa or the the one that gives you a different buff when you switch? That's Mappa, right? That's Widsith. Oh, that's Widsith. Yeah, she'd want Widsith, wouldn't she? I suppose. Yeah, I I was using her for something else, mm. and that wanted her to have. I was using her for the Freeze team, and she wanted the. Well, actually, if you're using reason. her in an EM team... Oh, well, but she's doing the Hydro, so she doesn't need EM. Yeah, I think she just... But I still think she'd want the Widsith just... for the... Yeah. For the buff she gives someone else, right? I'm not using Hazo right now. 
And Heizo would probably, like, want fucking... Here, you can have that. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, like, his weapon would probably be, like, Solar Pearl. I don't fucking know. But yeah. Klee's got my Solar Pearl right now. Yep. I'm strapped for weapons constantly. So I can I can tell. Switching and getting switching three anyone's brand new weapon characters. is like this. And getting three brand new characters definitely didn't help. Here, then again, you can have this actually. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it depends on if you want to build them as an animo DPS or as an EM sort of DPS. Yeah, it's a shame, like, because you'd really want to just buff his attack. He just hits a big, he, he make a big animo number. He's Scarra before Scarra. Yeah. Tyler, you are the opposite of strapped. You ain't got shit for weapons. That's what strapped means. I keep. Watching. I guess, no, no, she's right. It could mean either one when we're talking about weapons specifically. No, armed is what having lots is. Strapped also. Like, if you're strapped, you have a weapon. I've never heard of that before, but I guess if well, both you, you don't and live in the gun, yeah, You don't live in the gun continent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's just the thing. Okay. Should I go into BRB while you fucking buy me more primers? No, I, was, <laughs> I was just thinking, I I don't know why it amuses me so much that this is just canonically Alhatham's house. Like, it's just a place in the world and it's just here. Like, we can't go in it all the time, but it's just funny to me that this is just, like, one of the characters that we have. He just lives here. This is his house. It's right here. So I many. Know. I don't know why that amuses me yeah, so much. Yeah, so many of the characters. Yeah, like, but you can find Mona's house. Yeah. You can find the rock that Razor probably sleeps on. <laughs> probably. I I don't know why. Like I just keep running by this when I'm like going through. I'm like, hey, I'll hit them. Hold on. Have it's you got the chest so. under this slope? I think you did already. Probably. Yep. There's a precious chest there. <laughs> yep. Good work. Yeah, I'm just like, why the fuck was? Why is that one amusing to you? Like, there's so many. I don't know, because I haven't thought about it. Whatever. So, do I? What are we doing now? Are you going to do more pulls on my account for Baiju? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go BRB, so no one's login details or purchase details get fucking boxed. Because apparently you've got god tier luck at the moment. <laughs> All right, I am in BRB. You are free to... I have to go copy your fucking password again because it's incomprehensible. It's extremely comprehensible. But also, it's a not. password being uncomprehensible is a good thing, Tyler. Give sure. me your credit card info. Sure. Uh, 6969 0420 8008 one three five. That's probably someone's info. <laughs> it's not. That's not how credit cards work. I wasn't counting the numbers you were listening. It to. wasn't even the fact that I was counting numbers, but it was the wrong no amount of numbers. Yes, but it's a uh, numbers in certain positions on credit cards are actually identifying pieces of information in and of themselves. So, like, mm -hmm. all credit cards made by a certain bank have a certain set of numbers. Uh. Like, in some of the positions. Fascinating stuff. And definitely not something like, uh... that... Alright, I'm gonna stay on the BRB screen, because you're also gonna, like, go into the purchase screen, and I don't... Yeah. I don't need you to dox yourself. I'm okay with not getting Baiju as well, like, if it fails and I just- it, all we get is the other five star of him. Like, you know what uh -huh. I mean, like, the- the- the lost 50-50. I am right next to Pity, so... I don't know, do whatever you feel is necessary, right? Uh-huh. I'm just checking how much money I have in the bank. Remember to unlink that, by the way. 
once you're done. Like, hit the yeah, wrong... Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, uh... We go back to main game. Go ahead and do that. Get me, now? get me the sickly doctor, and you can do ten. I think one of his, I think one of his end strip and sprint lines is just coughing. Yes, it happens. I noticed as you it were... like mid combat. Yeah. I was like, "Are you coughing, buddy? You okay?" Yeah, immediately. Okay. I thought we were really close. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with Tainari C1. And I don't have Fischl C6 yet. And I don't have Candace C6. Uh, actually, I do have Candace C6, I think. That's a really impressive lineup. Oh, no, I don't, apparently. That's a really impressive, like, four star lineup, isn't it? That's like. Yeah. Hold on. That's a whole ass fucking. Uh... That's a team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a aggravate team. <laughs> and it's not well, even... I mean, hold Candace on. It's in. not even an... Uh, no, it's a I Hyper Bloom team. And, it's not even that I bad. I use and, uh, and Tainari for like my aggravate team. They're pretty good. Yeah, keep going. I'm okay. I don't have anything else to keep them for. Oh, now fuck yeah. Fischl. I'm happy with Fischl C6, actually. I would, of course, like more Cave cons, but you know. Yeah. More official. Also, second official is great, so. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and spend would the like... stuff. Yeah. Six meds. God, this game fucking hates me. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it does. I'm gonna walk away with one Carve Con, I can fucking smell it. <laughs> That's more than you'd normally walk away from dinners with. You know I hate you because you're right. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. finally! Have AC1. Game was like, fuck, fine, here, jeez. Titled little bitch. <laughs> what does a C1 do? What does Tainari uh, C1 do, actually? Well, let's... And what does her C6 do? Sends the duration of Oz's presence. Oh my god, that's actually re- Oh, and coordinated attack- okay. Dealing 30% official's attack as electric damage. That's really good. That's actually really good. I'm pretty sure that I can build official main DPS now. Can't I? With that? Well, that's for off field. That'd be really... I think that'd be really good with um, Tainari Aggravate, because then she'd be attacking the thing that he's attacking. With Electro to do this quick in. <laughs> Just a buff to his crit! Before you do this, check his stats, because I'm pretty sure his crit rate is already disgusting. Yeah. Cool. It just gives- it's just a free crit artifact. Okay. Why are all of his- why are all of his things so Wordy? long? Have you met Tainari? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, Candace. Shortens the hold cooldown. Yeah. To be the same that's happened. Cool. What's her last one? Out of curiosity. Oh my Characters, god. Characters, excluding Candace herself, are affected by the prayer of the Crimson Crown, ca crown caused by a sacred white Wagtail's Tide. Deal ult. elemental damage. Uh, deal elemental damage using normal attacks and attack wave. Oh, it's it's basically damage. almost exactly the same thing as Facial, but Hydro, essentially. She just adds additional uh, coordinated attacks. But with her burst, and yeah. Fischl would just do it with her E. Well, Fischl does it with both. Out. Because both right. leave holes. Within three seconds of using Artistic Ingenuity, Kaveh's Dendro Res and incoming healing bonus will be... <laughs> That's so useless! <laughs> What's the second one? 
Jesus no more tax Christ, please. That's so good. <laughs> Why is the first one useless? Um, fourth I think one. They want you using that heal thing. The fourth one. Tens of course created from bloom reactions. How they triggers will deal sixty percent more damage when they burst. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, is Carve should he be the one making blooms explode? I presume and so. And the sixth one, Padisar, whatever the fucks. Pyre days is dreams. Kave's he eats coordinated attack dendro attacks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sixty-one point eight. Why is it so specific? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> so it if, makes me think of like, like I guess I've been paying attention to too many fucking ARGs because I see that and I'm like, that's a code. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where do I plug in the number six one eight, right? Yeah, I'm looking for some input for three numbers now. Yeah. Oh god, Tyler, you would love the glitched attraction. Would I? I didn't say I like ARGs, I just didn't even pay attention to them. The glitched attraction is FNAF themed escape rooms. I have heard of them, I think. Yep. Alright. I will probably still oh, drop the, the primo, because yeah, I do still want Baijiu and now I'm on track for him. Um, I will probably drop uh, any primos I gather uh, on on a... Uh, On Kave as uh, on Baiju's banner. Hopefully, get Kave C2 at least. But uh, mm -hmm. that's almost 100% not gonna happen. But get Baiju. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder when the next time they'll be resetting the purchase bonuses are. Do you think it'll happen for 4.0? I think that's when they do it, right? With major Probably, updates? Yeah. yeah. Probably. Alright. So you're going to continue the Genshin stream? Now? Yeah, I'm actually going to finally do the the stream. But you can keep on hanging out if you want. Yeah, you should do the you should do the story of the event. It'd be fun for me to be here and watch it. Um is the event fully out? The story of it is. No, the whole of it. But I want to watch it. I want to watch you do it. So watch me do it when it's all out. But I'm here now, and I don't know if I'll be here later. Yeah, how long is the story of a, of a Genshin event gonna take? You won't, you aren't gonna see it all now, either. You're going to bed in, like, 30 minutes, right? Am I? Yeah, I guess. Like yeah. So... Like, how about we dedicate a weekend to it, Tyler? Sure. Yeah? Because yeah. it'll be out, it'll be all out in a few days, I assume, right? Probably. I've also been thinking, Tyler, um... Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, I was just reading the Discord chat, I was catching up. I've also been thinking, Tyler, of dedicating a long-ass <laughs> Genshin stream to just doing all the hangouts. <laughs> just, like, sitting down and doing every single one. Every ending for every single one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that'd be yeah. fun. I think that would be fun. Yeah, I think so too. I've already done one of Chong Yun's endings, and that's it. That's literally it. There's achievements in that. I've noticed! I've noticed that they've released achievements for them. You realize that's actually what has, like like tipped me over for doing them there's like at least three for every one I yes think. there's a one for reaching every ending one for reaching an ending or like some of the endings and one and for doing one... something kooky in the event that the game like is like yeah that like sort of breaks norms well not necessarily always kooky sometimes it's like just a Thing of skill like um during bennett's the hidden one is like doing a, a the, one of the puzzle thing without hurting bennett yeah which obviously i wanted to do anyway because he is my darling baby boy 
Oh, you know what? With the three free morning flowers, I will be able to get Carve up to 40. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. This'll do nicely. Damn, I'm nearly out of books. So that doesn't mean I have one blue medal. Oh, hold on. There we go. I do have one blue medal. What was the other name? The annoying flying something? Flying brat. Flying brat. See, that's why when I talk about spoilers, I put them behind a spoiler tag. That way, if you click on it, that's your own damn fault. I don't fucking you care. You know what I'm talking about. Do I? If you don't fucking care and don't yell at me. What? What? Are you. What? what? Who are you talking to? You. Why? Did I click on a spoiler and get annoyed about it? No, then I'm just saying shut up. that before <laughs> I've. Go on. Never mind. <laughs> no, go on. Because <laughs> I was talking about some shit that I was doing at Genshin. Because I know for a fact that I put the shit behind spoiler tags and you would so always click on them anyway and then talk about them. So I was just talking about something like to you that I was doing at Genshin that was that you hadn't encountered yet and you were like um, You were sending spoilers? me child death. And I was like You were sending me a child death. That's what you were doing. Yeah. And you were like, um, spoilers? And I was like, fuck you. I Alright. No, okay, but see so here's the thing, Tyler. I don't click on them. You think I do, but I you almost- You just quoted one of the ones that I posted. Yes, I almost universally don't click on them. You and Asil very frequently <sighs> comment on the spoiler tag. Really? You want to right? scroll up and see the last time that I've commented on a spoiler tag something? Not the last time, but yeah, I Yeah, exactly. You oh no, you recall? No, because finding yeah. the last one would be too good. Would be too easy way to justify my fucking argument, Man, wouldn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> my feelings are valid. Your feelings are based on not reality. This whole... They're based on the reality that you have in the past. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So because I haven't done it recently, it doesn't matter. That's still past behavior. Yeah, but because I haven't done it recently, it doesn't matter. Just because you haven't done it recently doesn't mean past behavior is not still potentially indicative of future behavior. <laughs> Tyler telling the truth, Aretha, you a hoe. <laughs> That's not what Tyler was telling the truth about. Not that that is not itself a truth, but... <laughs> <laughs> Complicated version of, you're not wrong, but that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, I don't fucking really click on them that much anymore, Tyler. Because I'm getting invested in the fucking stories, so I don't want to be spoiled. Alright. Uh, do I need anything specific for the Jade Bloom Terror Shroom? No. Just beat the shit it's out of it. It's one of the least complicated bosses. Literally just beat the shit out of it. It's right there the whole Hell. time. It never gets immune to anything. Fucking just yes. kick the shit out of it. The game needs more of those. I mean, if you want to get more complex, That's then like it does I'd... do different attacks depending on whether you burn it or um uh aggravate it. Not aggravate, what's Electro the it. quicken it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it is technically just a big fungus. I don't fucking but... care. I do not care. Zero... But you can just beat the shit out of it. Zero you can just like brute care. force your way through it. Yeah, zero interest in the name in of the princess in. Do I have Fischl in my thing? No, I don't. I want to get her to level 90 because she's proving to be a really powerful, like, sub DPS. She is great. Yeah. And now that I have her C6, right? Um, <laughs> do I have a good weapon on her? She's got Favonius. Is there something better? I, don't think I had so. her uh, with Viridescent Hunt for a while, but now I think I gave her the Stringless. Well, on Stringless is on Venti, but I don't really use Venti anymore. Oh, I have two Stringless, so that's yeah, right I'm going to give her Stringless, because she's going to be on a team. Well... So Stringless would be... It would buff her elemental skill and elemental burst damage by a lot. 
Mm-hmm. Right. But it has and elements. Give her own mastery. Yeah, but I'm not specifically using her on a Dendro team. I kind of just want. Well, what are you. You want her to just be an electric DPS? Just general hit things off field, official. Like, kind of be able to put her in anything. Mm-hmm. But I suppose the game isn't really fucking designed around that, is it? Kind of yeah, sucks. like I would say, just build her as an extra beast, and you can slot her in like before Dendro. That was possible. But if you want her to be useful, potentially useful in a Dendro team as an upfield, you DPS, really want to put Elemental Mastery. You want for Elemental her Mastery for the quicken, yeah. Um, but uh. You know what? Not every unit has to be built for Denver. Maybe I just build Fischl to be a good Electra DPS, right? Yeah. Like, I've got other Electra units that I'll be building specifically for their, like, Dendro teamness. When I get Yaimiko, she's gonna be a quick and aggravate Electro character, right? Mm-hmm. So maybe Fischl's just an Electro DPS. Maybe we just do it, we keep it simple with her. Um, what do you think we I should stick with her then? Um, well, then you're going for DPS bows, so Skyward Harp, probably, if you have it. Sorry, I just looked at my... Yeah, um, let's talk four-star bows, you fucking... Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm i sorry I have two Skyward Harps. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Like, Stringless has Elemental Mastery, that's probably what I'd put on her if she was a thingo. Uh, Rust is for like normal attack damage, so it's like for you. Off-field yeah. DPS, I'd probably probably would stick with the Favonius, so she's getting that energy recharge too. How much is her ult? Want her to be generating, generating. Well, ener- isn't energy? You generally put energy recharge on off-field, so they generate energy for your on-field. Yeah. It's not necessarily for her, especially since her burst is just you know fine. The burst is just another E, basically. It's just her E, but it's a little Again. longer. I've also got a rank 5 Muon that has just been sitting there. Remember when I got this when they first came out? <coughs> I don't. They came out with the Raiden Shogun. I don't know what that does. They came out with the Raiden Shogun weapons. The Muons, bro. And I got this, Fading Twilight. Right. The Fading Twilight was that event thing. Fading Twilight, maybe, because it's got energy recharge. Mm -hmm. Such a good bow. Fading Twilight is a good bow? Are you being, like... Such a good bow used on no one. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Increased damage dealt by 12, 20, 20, and 28%. When attacks hit opponents, this weapon will switch to the next state. So it change state every 7 seconds. Can still equipping this weapon can still trigger the state switch while not in the field. Right. So the thing, Very strange. the thing is, it's basically just a twenty percent damage increase, uh, because every hit will either be twelve, twenty, or twenty-eight, and twenty is the average of those three. Um, but with Fischl having coordinated attacks with Oz out now that she is C six, she's going to be switching between them even more rapidly, because every attack that, like. Oh, it can change states every seven seconds. How long is her E? Ten seconds. Right. So it's only... How long does the buff last? It's got... It's got to not... It's got to be pretty good. At the end of the day. And then there's Muons, which is every point of the entire party's combined energy... Capacity, the elemental burst damage of this character is increased, but what? Never. No, no one cares. That's not good for her anyway. Hmm. Asil, do you have a take on this? And there's also crafted bows as well. Let's have a look at those. Just a bow for Fischl as, like, just a standard uh, off-field Electra DPS. Not for Dendro teams. Just for... Doing normal... Electro-y things. Yeah. Ah, fuck. 
Because I'd like to start, like, because I've got a C6 now and she's pretty good with C6. I mm, don't care about that. Mm, don't care about that. Mm, don't care about that. And I uh, don't care about that. Okay. If you're not using her for something that needs EM, then why are you using- What do you mean, why am I using her? As an Electro di What? I think you're still saying that, uh... In the current state of things, with Dendra being a thing, there's not really a good use for her to be an off-field Electro DPS. Because all of the uses for an Electro off-field DPS would be Elemental mastery related for some kind of reaction. For Dendro, but I'm not using her on a Dendro team. Or for, like, fucking, I don't know, Electro Charge. Oh, she just means what are you using her for? Just for, I've just said, an, uh, just like a general off field Electro DPS, but not for Dendro teams. Like, not for an EM build. Like, just slapping her on a team to do shit while she's not on the field. Kind of the same way that Xiongling, you just could just do that with her. You're so good for aggravate while you use her with it. Hmm. Because I don't need to. I've got other uses for it. Official's so good for aggravate, why didn't she get brought up during the conversation where I was like, help me build an aggravate team? Oh my god, Asil. <laughs> because you have Sino. You wanted Sino on that team. Is Sino... Yeah, I don't think you need two Electros on there. Kooky. True. But she was the healer. Who else would you She wasn't to relevant to the comp. Oh my god. Sometimes I kind of hate what Dendro has done to the this game. Sometimes. You know? Uh-huh. I've seen EM Razor builds. Yeah. You want an EM Razor? No, thank you. Ah! EM Razor would kind of just be doing the same thing as Sino in my theorized yeah. aggravate team, wouldn't he? Yeah, basically. Asil does not approve of the EM Razor. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Asil, you didn't hear what you just said. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about what? Um, I didn't say anything. Don't mind me while I turn the valve. It's nothing. Um, I don't. I don't think I need to build two separate aggravate teams, right? Right. Like I don't need a Sino aggravate team, and like I. I guess I would need a whole second aggravate team to feel justified in building Fischl as an aggravate user, so that I could run. I guess the thing here. I would say is the th way you could do it is you could have an aggravate team with Sino as the main damage dealer and then a spread team with Tainari as the damage dealer there and have Fischl as the off-field electro uh, quicken person for that team. Tainari's on the aggravate team though. This, is he? Yeah, it's Sainari, Tainari, Sainari. You know what, that works. It's Sainari Nahida yeah, sure. Kuki. Oh, right. Yeah. I forgot. Like, the only role building Fischl and Aggravate would have is to swap out with Sino, who is the one non-negotiable member of that team. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's fair. Right? So, yeah. unless I build a whole second Aggravate team, which right. I might have enough characters for if I get Baiju... No, I didn't get Baiju yet. And I don't want to build a I second... I got Baiju. Yeah, and I don't want to build a second Aggravate team. I don't need to. 
I Where's highly it? doubt that Spiral mm. is going to be so constrictive as to need aggravate teams on both halves of it, right? I highly yeah, doubt Spiral. Need to run aggravate on one and freeze on the other. Yeah, right. Or aggravate on one and s fucking Scarrow and his little team of making him stronger rights on the other, right? Like, like there is. I don't think I need two aggravate teams, and the only role Fischl would have is to swap out with, si with Sino, which is not negotiable. I'm looking at the back at the VOD now and the only problem with trying to get everything like all the context in one clip is that after I pull Ganyu I spend a, a too long ch like hovering between the weapon and Baiju's banner mm -hmm. before I eventually pull on Baiju Rip. but I think I can sacrifice that and just start with like the what the heck let's pull on Baiju's banner and then keep a lot of the I'm sorry, I need you to say it again? Yeah. I just don't see much point in using Fischl with that aggravate spread. Asil, I need to paint you a picture, right? It was 2021, and Genshin didn't have the Dendro element in it, <laughs> right? There was, there was three expansions, physical fell off. I'm physical! Who the fuck is using Fischl for- There were three elements, uh, three regions <laughs> in the game. I think she's listing the other possibles. They don't balance Abyss the same anymore. Hmm. That's a reasonable argument. Like, if Abyss- I, you know what? I don't think I've ever tried to clear the final floor of Abyss just because it's been too difficult for me as well. Because it's just too much. Have you, Tyler? Have you managed to? Do you get three stars? I haven't managed to. Yeah. I can usually... I, the most I've gotten is I've cleared 12-1. Yeah. I could probably do I that think, if I tried. I think even then... But... I think even then I just got... um, I got two stars. And yes, Asil is 36 starred multiple times. We're aware, Asil. I believe in you. Yeah. Not in you, I believe you. Yeah. I don't believe in you. You don't exist. Um. Hmm. The stars are fat. They're fake. And the points don't matter. But, like, yeah, I don't think I'd have enough Dendro characters to make a second uh, team of, uh, like, a Dendro reaction kind. Mm -hmm. Cause, like, Fischl wouldn't be good on a team with Kave because Fischl doesn't have enough, like, she can't direct her attacks to hit the cores, if that makes sense, the way that, like, Kuki can, because she, like, creates a ring of Electra around her, you know? Yeah. So, so I don't think she'd be able to do that. The only thing I'd say is that her burst does do AoE, but yeah. that's just every time she has a burst. Yeah, which is, like, every 27 seconds or something stupid. And in any case, Kave wants to blow up the cores himself, so... Yeah. So Kave doesn't work on a quick and aggravate team, theoretically, anyway, right? No. No. The filter button. In theory, you just want pure bloom. Yeah. Bloom. Hydro DPS. See, I, hydro, I, I just don't think I have enough characters to make two blue teams. I just think that is just the thing it so, is. Relax. Or not I would two probably blue teams. Do two. Have a hydro, and then maybe Kazua to scoop up those cores so he can do his E. Yeah. And then who would be on the fourth slot? Another Dendro? Like Yao Yao? Or... No. Mm. Maybe Baiju. Maybe. 
Because I do want to get in. You can use a healer, isn't he? Yeah. But I wonder if he'll be applying Dendra too much because you'll want to build him for HP, not EM. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And he, he and you know, maybe he'll be the same kind of situation as Benny, where his heals are so strong you can just build him for EM. But then you won't get his T buff. Like, I don't know. This is also kind of why I'm attracted to the idea of, like, Carve Burgeon as well. I think that'd be fun. Like, Carve and Toma. I wonder if you can make a Carve Burgeon team with just pretty boys. With just pretty boys? Relax. Well, who counts as a pretty boy? Because that's not a filter I can apply to the character list. Yeah. It depends. Give me elements and roles that need to be filled, and I'll see if it fit a pretty boy team. Well, so we'd need we need someone make cores. So we'd need we need. Hey, what did Asil say before about the it, virgin team comp that works? Uh, it has to Toma, be Toma, Dendro made yes, and, and two, two hydro yeah. So pretty boys, Toma, Toma and Kave are pretty boys. That works. Mm -hmm. And then Ayato is definitely a pretty boy. Ayato and and Shingsho. Yeah, Shingsho, sure. But I don't have a heal. Yeah. Relax. Um, <laughs> Kave heals himself with the pores. Right, but that's not. It doesn't heal everyone else in the s situations where shit. He's hits the main the DPS. That doesn't also, mean. Also, doesn't Singcho heal? Yeah, the the person on field. But only like every now and then. I suppose that is a pretty boy, uh, Bloom team. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'd want to go with someone else for Sing though. Yeah, I would put Big Cock Relax. there if I could. Because that's. She'd be the healer, <laughs> right? Right. And failing that, I could probably. I don't think Ayato does very good off field Hydra application, so I don't think he actually works very well for this. You know what I mean? Isn't his burst all off the old hydro? Yeah, but that's burst. You have to rely on getting burst up. True. I guess that the second hydro would be for en energy. Yeah, that's a good point. But then you'd want someone who can do their skill a lot, right? Or generate a lot of electrical electro uh, energy particles. Hmm. Relax. So I think so. Well, he can't do his skill a lot. He does that. That is the exact but opposite. He's, but he's very good at generating energy particles when you build him for energy, like he generally is. Especially with the sacrificial sword, right? Uh, I would say putting any other Hydra character with a shorter cooldown and giving them a sack weapon would be better, though. <laughs> his twenty-second yeah. ass cooldown, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I think for the time being, I still. And also, I still have Raiden Shogun, which isn't on a team yet. Like, like she just she do. just isn't yet. I've been like trying to put her on a team for a really long She's time. Just there. Like, this is getting frustrating. <laughs> Understandable. Hold on, actually. Oh, uh, but... So, we're sort of musing with the idea of not worrying about the Bloom-specific part of Kave. I feel like Kave and Raiden would be kind of fun together if we just did it as a, you know... The... What's... Aggravate? Yeah. Quicken? Either, both technically, because like either could happen, right? Either well, could be quicken the quicken is the base. Yeah, a quicken team, like that'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, I could see it. Because Carve self enchants with Dendro, and then Raiden has her a hundred percent uptime coordinated attacks, which is still fucking <laughs> insane when you think about it. By the way. 
Well, she is the Archon. Yeah. She's allowed to be a little insane. Who would you stick with that, with, like, th slot three and Nahida. four? No. Nahida's on the... the Sino team. I thought... No. Sino Tainari! Okay. Alright, yeah, Nahida right. Nahida Kuki! Yeah. Okay. Um... Kave mm. Raiden. Mm. Nah, here the cookie. No, <laughs> I mean that would be really good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Kave riding nah, here the cookie. Hold on. It's basically Kave just the, the Sino team. But you swap the off-field DPS and the on and the main DPS. Hold on. Elements. Kave Raiden Fischl Baiju. You basically just swap the elements of the roles, yeah. I've just done the exact same team, but the opposite elements for all the but still. <laughs> yeah. You just roll swap the team. Kave Raiden Fischl Baiju. Nice. No, that'd be really good, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. In theory. We even have a healer. Shut up. We even have another healer. Shut up. We even have a. Stop talking, everyone. Don't it's... click on to the like the chattiest person in the game. No, but really, right? Would that be a good team? Hold on. I think so. Kave Raiden, Fischl, Baiju. Oi, Asil, I know you're sort of there, sort of not there. Do I have to repeat myself to, to like, can g g rate the team? You wanted another aggravate team? <laughs> you wanted another quicken team? Are you there? Hello? I don't think she's here. Hello? Uh, hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your first shift at the Five Nights at Freddy's game. I've forgotten how the co phone call goes. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah, that's all I remember. I think he then goes, uh... Yeah. He goes, uh, a lot. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Because now it's like... Oh yeah, okay. He doesn't even say, like, like welcome to the job. He's just like, uh, I wanted to record a message for you to get you settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last... Yeah, whatever. I still... Are you... I know he says every line really slowly. Yeah. Like, to the... You, for, you kind of forget how slow he talks I until can, you're like, I can, you've like done. I can literally. Until you've like done it a few times and you're like tr just trying to get through the fucking night and you just won't stop blabbing. I can look. I'm playing the audio for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it even starts with the long ass like phone ringing for like 30 seconds. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> God damn it, a still won't respond! Ah! <laughs> I'll bugger about it later, but that does actually seem kind of neat. It's like a second aggravate team. I just need to get my hands on... Quick yeah, follow me. You know what I wish? You know, we keep talking about like little quality of life things that Genshin could do to like enable gameplay, like skipping cutscenes or like like saving artifact sets or like equipment sets yep. for characters. Yeah. I was also thinking for things like with Spiral or with events where you have to ch construct a party. Wait, I thought I had to tell save sets Genshin. for parties. I thought I had to teleport near the Jade Plume. I thought that was the whole point. We, you've like done a bunch of farming of it for me back when you were doing my dailies, didn't, weren't you? Um. Right. 
Or maybe have you never fought the Jade Plume Terra Shroom before? I swear you did. I don't think I have. On my account, anyway, because obviously you have on yours. Yeah, obviously I have on mine. I have level nine Tarnari. One pity, fitty, fitty. One pity, fitty, fitty. There's something very pleasing with that, isn't there? What was the thing I was saying? Oh, right. You know how, like, in Spiral, you have to, like, pick the characters to make a team, right? Mm hmm Just letting you save a team. I like the party set up, but, like, saving yeah. team set, more team set Alternatively, set instead of, like, specifically a separate team saving area for that, just let you pick a saved party that from your normal party setups as a Spiral True, team, right? but then I would also say for that case, I would like to be able to save more teams, yes, please. Yes, absolutely. They only started <laughs> out with four anyway. They've already given us more to ten, but it's still not like the more characters you get, the more teams. Like they need to increase it, right? And the same thing needs to be said with resin. They need to increase the resin cap. I th yeah. think there's been rumors that they will, that they'll increase the resin cap again with four point Also. You know what I would say? Bazinga. There's no reason for the resin to be counted the way it is. Because like individual numbers, yeah. Like at like the the lowest you can use is like five, right? I'm pretty sure the lowest you can Relax. use is ten or twenty. On the blacksmith. I'm pretty sure it's ten. For the yeah. But no one actually does that. Well, like the the thing I just I just think like because mostly you're I guess I didn't consider the blacksmith but I was just thinking of like first of all there's no reason for the trounce bosses to cost thirty they should either cost twenty or forty to match everything else mm -hmm. and then just make that cost one or two just make it one or two. Yeah, you get one every, like, two hours or whatever the fuck it is, instead of 20 every, like, There's one every no eight reason. minutes. Yeah. No, I get what you're going with. I've been waiting for you for ages. No reason to calculate that. And the Fragiles, they should, I, like, make them 80. Why are they 60? Why is it, like, halvesies like that? It doesn't make any sense. You know what, I should probably make, use Tainara for this easy. instead. Yeah. I just, just I'm trying to follow up. I don't know if you're like looking. I'm I'm watching the stream, so it's a little delayed, but Like you can uh, see I'm like doing a point? Yeah. Following a thing. Cool. Yeah. And then it'd be this one and then that one. In the line. There we go. I'm just gonna rely on the. <laughs> you can rely on his fucking. Why is there a chest here? No, nice, yeah. I love that. That's great. Sometimes I'll just pop the E just so I can shoot it real quick. This E has a really short cooldown, so mm. there's no point not to. Yep. Ooh, withering zone. Gross. Yep. Hey Tyler. Fix that. Tyler. Yeah. Do you need any death withering zone related deaths for child? Because I already got the withering zone related death that I need needed. There's multiple though. Have you got him being killed by the reactionary projectiles from curing one of the little withering plants? I think I have. Let me check my folder. Yeah. Stockpile deaths. Because like, that's a good idea, isn't it? You know what I mean, the little red missiles. Yeah, let's see what I have. I'm gonna just read off some of the stockpiled deaths I have. Maybe not, that, that because then fun. you'll spoil them, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see. Let's see, where did I leave off? I left off on nine. So ten is... I might actually scrap ten, it's not that interesting. I was just doing a bunch during the story quest. Yeah. Because they were unique. I got the Withering Zone death. I got that unique story death. That one, that one. Okay. 
fanged beast. Moving sentinels. What the fuck is this? Surgery schedule table. Was hunting a glaive glavenous. I don't know, warframe shit. A sill. No, glavenous is a um, monster hunting. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Some game I don't care about. A sill. Party setup. Cave. Raiden. Fischl, and then when I have him, Baiju. So I can finally put the Raiden Shogun in a goddamn team. <laughs> if you wanted the Raiden Shogun in a team, maybe you shouldn't be using Sido. Shut up! I want Sido in a team as well! <laughs> Just imagine, I'm having both sides of the argument again, Tyler. Help. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't know me! The value of knowledge cannot simply be quantified in monetary terms. I don't know, the academia does a pretty good job of trying. Um... <laughs> So you don't need it? I can just kill it. I can clear it out. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> You're right. Gotcha. Huh? Oh, wait, actually. Oh, my God. I, I just checked through the desk and I got distracted by a random photo in my files that seems to be of a new surgery table, but I don't know where it came from. I don't know, like, I can't see it in my file folder, but it appears when I click next file. But, uh, I don't actually have one of the projectiles, so... What are those fungi doing over there? Huh, too slow. Quiet. I don't care. Teamwork is dreamwork! Behold! To be completely honest. Do you wanna come in then? Yeah. Quit following me. Just up by silence. <sighs> and Asil's fucking gone again. She, she came around to tell us that she was not around when we were asking for her, but didn't stick around long enough to hear the thing that we were trying to say while she wasn't around. Yeah, she'll you do that. This? <gasps> you even want this? Shut the fuck up. I'm busy. Off we go. Oh my god. Spawn Fury. Help me, Albedo! No. What? I mean, I'm gonna have cup. I'm gonna have, um, child. My, like, level 40 me. child. With an unleveled bow. We're free for the next oh, three minutes. What was your question? Kave Raiden Fischl Baiju! Team good Y slash N. <laughs> he basically took the aggravate team comp with Sino and just gender swapped, swapped the everyone. Balance. Trash! Why is it trash? There's no need to exchange. Points. I don't know. It's rather. It does have two characters. You. Sino, shut up! It does have two characters you've never used yet, Asil. So I suppose it's reasonable you wouldn't know yet. How the I... fuck would I know? Because you've seen us play them at least. I feel like you'd have some idea. Adventure time. But fine. I feel like we'd have a better idea having played them than I say. It's probably fine. Off we go. Right. I'll take care of this. Watch me go, Dad. Are you proud of me? Ow. Not quite enough to kill me. Ow. Was Benny in the screenshot? Probably. Yeah. I gotta paste it and save it. That doesn't mean anything, bro. Adventure time. 
It's fine as hell. Off we go. <laughs> Benny is in the screenshot. How amusing. You know, a cell, a uh, cell, Tyler. Yeah. Could use the help. I was saving a file. Jeez. It does not take that long to save a screenshot. It would have been way funnier if Benny was doing the thumbs up while it was happening, yeah, but the timing required for that. Search forth. Stop. No nipple no nippleza. No nippleza. Huh. You even want Yes, this. I even want this. Uh, where's the danger grain? There it is. Oh, it already lifted up. What did it Alright, while you're here, we can just... Yeah. We can head over to the... The... Terra Shroom. Have you beaten the... Have you got deaths to the Terra Shroom yet? Yes, I've gotten deaths to all the bosses. Right the hell many? Ah! Oh, this, this. you made me <laughs> jump. Well, except for except for the new boss in the 3.6 desert, I haven't gotten that one yet. And I could get at least three deaths off of that guy. Let's light it up! Have you seen how that guy works? He's weird. He's cool though. Uh, I have not fought any new bosses yet. Time to go to work. You want me to not talk about it? Uh, it's just a boss, right? Yeah. Eh. It's, it's is it the one I've already seen? Like the like he's not the trans boss. He's just a he's just a world boss. Oh, so it, you're not talking about the? No, I'm not talking about the trans boss. Trans boss mechanically is also weird, but. In a different, in a much more simple way. Too if small. that makes sense. It doesn't. Alright, there's, um, there's a teleporter here. But it's quote unquote underground. How'd you get? Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm gonna follow you then. Lead the way, wolf boy! Oh. Uh, suck. All right. Slurp. Slurp. This is to the boss, but is the teleport in here as well? Teleporter's right behind us. Ah. Squall and Fury. Do you want me to pull up someone useful on my team before we go in there? Uh, yeah, please swap child out with someone else. Thank you. Right. You can probably manage with just Razor. I'll bring out Mika. Sure, but don't expect to get a the reaction you're hoping for. Yeah, I'm just like pretty tacky. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Cry louder! Yeah, that... Least complicated boss there is. That was. You uh... just literally beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Oh fuck! I just got... relentlessly. I got one of those. Nice. And three of those. And 
two of those. And some of that. You know what I discovered recently that I'm sad about? Clowns. No. One of the living beings. <laughs> you know how. I like how slow you know he how, uh, said that. <laughs> One of the, you know how I was trying to, I was going through the Living Beings archive to see, to like capture one of each of the capturable. I'm assuming um, there's something that you'll never things. be able to capture because it's just gone permanently. Yeah. A coral butterfly was exclusive to the event version of Encanomia that happened during that one event. Relax. Alright. <laughs> While... It's in the archive with a big zero on it. While waiting for this to come back, I'm going to teleport to a random teleporter that I have not- well, I'm not going to teleport to it. I'm going to teleport to the teleporter near a teleporter I randomly haven't gotten. That's a fucking sentence and a half. And, sure. and get it. I'm just going to get a random teleporter, is what I'm saying. Okay. Because I figure I just might as well. Now that I've finally fucking finished uh, everywhere exploration except for Subaru, like, Subaru's on my sights next. You've done in front of me already? Yeah! That was like one of the first ones we did together, remember? Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quit following me. I'm kind of living that zero resin lifestyle, but zero resin, but actually loads of other things to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask you to do anything to do resin today, but I guess that's what you're doing. Right yeah, now. I'm doing ta Terra Shroom. Androculus here. There it is. You gotta be careful randomly dropping down from cliffs. Now this isn't the 3.6 area. It's actually kind of fine. Kind of. No, there's... No, there's invisible platforms in places. I've... I've died sometimes, like, dropping from a cliff that I thought was you know, clear. Oh, you were- and, Oh! Because I intended to do the- Drop. that right at the ground. Yeah. But then I hit an invisible platform, like, halfway down and die. Okay. I'll keep so that in So you gotta there. be careful. Let's go beat up some Fatuis. No. Most of the time you're fine, which is why I haven't fully trained myself out of that habit. But, like, sometimes you're not gonna be. <laughs> Um, did you do the if quest? If I could to... find one of those invisible, invisible platforms, that'd be a great child death. You even want yeah? this? Yeah, if I could find one. Can't remember where they are, and obviously they're invisible, so. <laughs> um, there's also Dendroculus up there. Behold! There sure is. Launch. You think it'll be back there's right also now? a time trial right over here. All right, Probably. I'll, I'll do the time trial and then. Quit the squalling fury. And then we'll go back and beat it, and I'll go for another teleporter. Just pick this one to be more platform. Get him. Where Too are they? Slow. Oh. The wind rises. Hee <laughs> hee. No. <laughs> I stole Take your mom. How does it feel? I stole some of my mom. You got like one. I got three of them. No? I got the first two, and then I got the last one. No? Yeah. Alright, well, that's not what happened on my screen. Oh, well, your screen's gaslighting. <gasps> my screen is the host! I fell off. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, well, you're on your own. Oh, well. Alright. St why are these s I was, like, very slightly off-center to the log, and I would just, like, slip off constantly. Behold! 
Hyla, I put my circle down. What? Oh, and you're dead. Oh well. I got burned, that's why I thought I was on fire. I can't take it anymore, achievement. Me neither, game. Me neither. Uh, one, three. And I think that's enough to get uh, Tainari to 60. I gotta stop playing oh, yet. small children that I believe in my heart that Scara would like with other people playing Scara because then when they get low health he goes worthless as expected and I'm like, no! <laughs> Don't say that to Razor, he's doing his best! Um, Tyler, can you see? Have a look at my stream real quick. Do you remember how to get to this? You think teleport? I've got a sharp tongue? Hold on, I'm in a different room. I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, I stood it, up and walked away. Sorry. Maybe that's their problem. I assume it's probably from this cave that I've marked. Uh, okay, I'm sitting down again. I'm going there because you took too long. Oh, what do you get? Tail points. It's this one. In the market. Uh, yeah. Okay. Happy to apply. There's a friend. Probably to show you the, you know, the cave. You're dead. And they tend to oh, do that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the wind rises. What? I was alt tab. Uh, like looking at the map. Oh, ma'am. What are you doing? There's a lady down here who wants your attention. <laughs> That's not chat. Mm, sure isn't. Jebrael, my beloved. Please come back. I still have to do that. Um, okay, where is it? It's right here. Oh, this is the vault. The Aranara vault. Yeah, it's down here. Yeah. I don't want to open any of these chests until I have all the Aranara. Because isn't that going to be so fun? It is, yeah. Did you open them all in one go? No. Oh. I was too eager. Yeah. Take I'll open that one. I don't even think you get like access to the vault until you do one of the notebook quests. Well, I've done oh. all the notebook quests, remember? I finished it, didn't I? There is a withering here, though, so let's deal with that. But didn't I finish all the notebook quests, Tyler? Mm. There's some extra things that get added to your notebook once you've, like, we go. found them. Huh. If that makes sense? That's Adventure helpful. time. Like, um, there's a... Have you done the thing with the mailbox yet? I don't know what the mail And if you is. don't if you don't know what I mean, then you haven't done it. That's what that's why I'm being Well, made. I don't know if that's true, Tyler, because I like haven't touched this in a little while, so what if I have it but you know There's a, a several day, like real time day world quest. Uh, or not even a world quest, I don't think it even like counts itself as a world quest, it's just a thing you a do hidden for a while. Quest. It's a hidden world quest. Yeah. The, the, that's what the community has been calling them. Uh... Um, where you look you look in the mailbox in the R&R village, and then there's like a picture of a place Oh, there, hold on, yeah, I did stop that. And you this. go to the place. I did stop that. Yes. Yeah, you do you do that all the way to the end. There's ten like and treasure that chests opened, and the that treasure opens chests... up 
That opens the vault. The ten treasure chests have nothing in them except for the last one, which like actually leads to the vault. Yeah. Yeah. Following me. It's up, by the way. I found it. Huh? The. Oh, I found the. The spore thingy. Well, the the next one. Did you find one? Do you? I've got... <laughs> got these turrets here. No, but did you find one? I'm saying. Find one what? The, the spore. spore thingy. <laughs> oh. Um. I think. I think some might be underwater. I found one. Oh, there's a dendro elemental thing in there. Hold on, can I activate dendro? There it is. It's down there. You can! That's cool. I didn't think you could do that. It's down here. Did you know you could do that, Tyler? Do what? Activate dendro elemental yeah. monuments with the. The Dendro Freedom. Yes. Off we go! Because I did not. Everybody go in! Squall and Fury! And I think that's really cool. But yeah. Oh, precious chest. Take it and have fun. Ow, ow. Razor, ow. Yeah, no, I remember. The mailbox quest is, like, the thing that even opens the vault up in the first place. Because, mm -hmm. like, the first nine chests literally have nothing in them. And Paimon bitches. But I'm pretty sure you can find the chests without looking at the image in the mailbox. Sure. But it's significantly me. easier if you look at the picture in the mailbox. Really? With a tracker that tells me the location of every chest, it's significantly easy to look at a vague image that a vegetable drew? Tyler? Well, I guess if you have the tracker, yeah, <laughs> but I was just doing it from the quest. Yeah, I believe you. I guess you could just say I'm cooler than you. Uh, sure. I've been willing to say that for a very long time based on very many other things. Anyway. Epic. Buck is a marinara. Aranara vegetable. The what vault? Oh my god, Asil. Man, play the fucking quest. Jesus Christ, Asil. You're gonna, you're gonna totally miss the fucking event because you're not caught up enough in, in the story quest. Mika just falling. Fucking hell! Leave me alone! Oh my god, you just healed him. It's almost like that's a thing you do. Let's light it up. Go in. Now. Stay in my circle. We've also so no, this is the part that really annoys me. Uh, Asil, is that we've even told you what Aranara are several times. Like, it's not just the... Probably, but I'm gonna take it seriously, because that's more fun. My god, Nano Machine sub. What? That's the name of the achievement? That's hilarious. I got that one too. Um... Alright. Two of those. And just. Th wow. Scammed. I didn't even get any of the tiny, like, fragments. But, that but now Tainari can hit level 60. I'm not gonna have enough Calipolota Lotuses either. I'm gonna need to find more of those. I've probably made several random clips just trying There's to There's no such thing as pure time. freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot I wish it forever. would just let you select a time straight from the clip menu instead of um like just giving you the first like minute before and after the time you click it. Yeah. And then not allowing you to adjust that at all. I know it's really stupid. Just making an entirely new clip. It's really stupid. All right, give me a second. I just need to f what's with the planner? 
So level, I got him to, to 60, then I hit done, then I can go back to 90. Uh, Alright, I'm going to pick another teleporter I'm nowhere near, or do you want to pick it? Um, teleport to the teleporter near it and tell me which direction, and I'll mark it and start going towards it. Relax. <laughs> uh, there's a lot. I don't know. There's, there's, there's a, a lot. lot. <laughs> there's a bunch of these underground, but you'll have to do the quest to get them. So yeah. Um, let's get <sighs> this one over here. Okay, teleport near it and then tell me what direction. We're going up left. Oh, the one on the We're other side. We're going of the to temples. the other end of the, these the temples, ruins. The temples yeah. are forsaken. Yep. Okay. But yeah, I Do am. You do the terror shroom again. Yeah, I've got forty more resin. So there will be one more run of it. Fury. Hey, have you gotten the um, always shoot first achievement yet? What is that? Um, this guy with the sword, when he comes at you, um, uh, with swinging his sword and like trading hands with it, you shoot him with a bow. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I I don't think so. I'm I'm killing the other guys, so you can just do, do that. I'll back off. Oh, okay. He'll start, like, doing a sort of taunting move where he, like, tosses his sword from well, hand to I hand. Well, I literally- like, I do not have a bow person, and I literally Adventure cannot time. switch teams while I'm here. Well, let's just run away from him Here until he deagros. Back off, my guy. We'll have to defeat these oh. enemies, though. Adventure time. Well, I'll let's just teleport away. Everybody stand back. Okay, and I'll just be here <laughs> defeating these enemies. <laughs> Because I kind of need, uh... Well, we can get them after. Prisms. There we go. Does it matter if it's a long range or a short? Like, does it charged attack, or...? Um... I don't think so. Just as long as you hit them with a bow. So, exactly what am I doing? Um, he'll, he'll be, like, looking at you and, like, waving his sword around threateningly. And he, like, I think he trades it from hand to hand. He, like, throws it to his other hand in the back. And that's when he, like, you, like sort of interrupt that. But in general, if you just do a normal attack, anytime he tries to do some twirly bullshit with his sword, you'll probably get it. Okay. Come here, buddy. He's aggroed on you. Yeah, buddy. Oi. Do something. Do something. Is he aggroed on you now? Yes. No. Yes? Take You've like pulled him into a weird corner. Why did you teleport back? <laughs> no one to watch. Yeah. Cool. We're both gonna teleport away, Tyler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm gonna teleport back first. Uh huh. And I'm gonna hydrate, because no one fucking is telling me to. And that's somehow everyone else's fault. Hydrate again, bitch. No. Well, I'm rejecting the refunding points back to me. Feeling lucky today? Alright, do something. I hit him with a bow while he was twirling his sword. No more. He'll do, he'll do a move where he did traits with his hands. Traits with his hands. Oh, that's just a normal attack of his then? Just a normal attack that he hit me with. <laughs> right. Oh, 
No. Oh, there. It actually, like, knocks him off his feet. Like, it has a different kind of knockback. Han always shoots first. Alright. That's a Star Wars reference. It's simultaneously a Star Wars and an Indiana Jones reference. I believe you. I can explain. I'm nerdy enough. I've seen neither of the movies. Okay. There's several of both. I've seen neither of the series. Behold. Uh, because in, in Star Wars, there's this scene where Han Solo, played by Harrison Ford, this is important. Um, it's because it's important, he, it's because it's the same guy in the other terms, right? Yeah. yeah. Indiana Jones also played right here. Um, in Star Wars, there's a scene where they're at the, the first scene you see Han Solo in. He's in a bar and he's talking to some guy, some alien guy. The alien guy is talking mad shit. You can't understand him, but he's talking mad shit. You can just tell. Mm -hmm. And he pulls out his gun, but Han just casually shoots him first. For some reason, in the later like remasters, they had the alien shoot him first but miss, and then Han hits him. But it doesn't make sense. So a lot of nerds have the sort of rallying cry of Han shot first, like Han always shoots first, just because like they prefer the originals to the remasters. Take but anyway, um, so then there was that. And also, there was a scene in Indiana Jones where apparently on that filming day, Harrison Ford just felt like absolute trash. He was like not up to it. He was like sick. They were filming in the desert, so he was probably like dehydrated and shit. He was just feeling like trash, right? Uh -huh. And they had this scene where this uh, assassin guy, who was like a swords master, he was like flipping the sword around, and they were gonna do like a, a duel. Like this a, like a sword, is Star Wars right? or Indiana now? This this is Indiana Jones. You didn't clarify um, that part. Sorry. So in Indiana Jones, during filming in Indiana, one of the Indiana Jones movies, uh, Harrison Ford, they're filming in a desert. Harrison Ford feels like trash. They're supposed to do a sword duel, like a, like a like a sword thing. So the guy's like twirling his fancy swords around, and they decided that for that scene, Harrison Ford didn't feel like doing the stunts, so he just like pulled out a gun and shot him. So it's like a really funny scene in the movie where the the guy's like doing all these fancy sword flips and everything, and Indiana Jones pulls out a gun, shoots him, and then walks away. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it's simultaneously you even want a this? Star Wars reference and also an Indiana Jones reference because that guy's doing the sword twirling and just shot him with a bow. Anyway. Anyway. No, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, there's a game. Hold on, there's a Game Grumps right reference now. here. My favorite part of the stream was when Tyler talked about old movie references for really long time. What was your favorite part of the show, Billy? I liked when Tyler talked about Harrison Ford for a really long time. Yeah, that's for it. Long... <laughs> There's a sand puzzle over here if you want. Oh, you need to teleport it away. Yes! Uh, teleporter. <laughs> That's all I'm there for at the moment. And you should probably be going to bed very soon, right? Probably. I don't... I might not actually go to work tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh. Depends on how I feel when I wake up. I have to wake up early anyway, because either way I have to tell Angel that I'm not going to work. Right. Ow, ow. Gotcha. I'm waiting for you to give me some energy. You know, easy Yuri at all. Sorry. Three strikes! Uh, interesting. I feel like I've gotten every single fucking achievement tied to this guy in one sitting. <laughs> um, three, three, one. All right. Uh, 
let's go grab another teleporter. And you can pick again if you want. Um, but, like, we'll probably be ending very soon. Okay. Because um... you are tired and I am also tired. <laughs> Let's get physical. I smell physical. rabbit. Let's get physical, comma, physical. I'm between making it fun or making it one we can get easily. You think I've got a sharp tongue? Yeah, I just tell it like here. it is. <laughs> if someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. Which way are we going? Up left. Oh yeah, the one near the big old guy. The dude. The dude. The big old man. He's just a, he's just a little guy. Hmm. I don't know about little. Huh. Hold on. Well, he's not there in the tracker. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he is. I thought in the tracker it showed three. No, he's not on the... Tr nope, he's not there on the tracker. Oh, That's... Man. That's so easy. That's an interesting, mildly spoilery thing for the tracker to do. Well, I mean, the tracker has to show the map. Yeah. And if the map changes, there's not a whole lot it can do about that. Yeah, but still. Maybe you should Maybe you should just do World Quest before you start looking at the tracker for things. I literally need to look at the tracker immediately for things, though. Like, the, the moment you make a single chest available, I have to look at the tracker. Like, you just made that chest available, and because of that, I have to look at the you tracker. You have to pick it up. You could just leave it. It'll get locked. Leave the chest? Yes. <laughs> Wait, were you joking? No. I'm saying if you're gonna be that anal about it, and then you could just leave it. The wind rises. But because I'm that anal about it, I can't leave it. You understand that that... It's paradox. Hey, friend. And there's a chest ahead. Does no one say anal? And that's what a seal comes back to. That's a hey, big hey, bird! Not... That's one of those consecrated fuckers. This is my first introduction to this desert. Quietly now. It sucks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they hit like a truck. Gotcha. Get back. These are about to get dicey. I got it. Yeah, I know. Know your place. And now there's this thing it's... here. That's a big bug. And very uh, small you eggs. Should... You should um. Well, that's because it's just a red you vulture even that's this? been like. Uh, Fucked with the absorbed elemental energy. Yeah. Friend. There's one of several. There's several elements of versions of those like of small creatures. Like of course. The yeah. Scorpion. There's one of the crocodiles. There's one of the Rishkalan I, I bet that's kind of what happened to the boars in Dragon. Now that we think about it, right? Those probably are like normal boars that absorb cryo. Do you even want this? Right. No dragon's fine? Yeah. It could be. I guess they don't look much like consecrated beasts, but it could be something similar. I like mean, that. they could also just be a dragon spine version of the ball, right? Like, it could just be, you know, that. But I kind I, I think the, that's a The cool... king could be, like, corrupted. Yeah, the king, by a, I guess. Like, Durin. Of... Yeah. Or Durin blood or whatever. Sort of like how Whopper Beto was. He's just a big Whopper flower. The king has ligma. The wind rises. And there's the big guy that somehow disappears. I'm... Well, he doesn't disappear. He's right there. I don't know. How could something that big disappear? 
You understand I'm already hooked on the idea of the quest that involves this just by the fact that I know he disappears. Okay. I don't need the extra level of hook of like, how could? It's so big, how could? Like, I know, Tyler, how could? Let's see if we can get inside it. You know what this makes me think of, by the way? This There's makes me think of, um... Heart. This makes me think yeah. of Final Fantasy XII. You remember the area in Final Fantasy XII that was like the big sand dunes and also the giant rusted oil rigs? Yeah. You remember that area? This like has the same aesthetic to me. One of those areas that I zoned out in because you were like, this is it was be a ninety percent. It was ninety percent running through for combat, but you do still remember it, don't you? I do vaguely remember it. Yeah. yeah. It had like two scenes in it, one near the very fucking start, and then one right at the end when we finally got to King fucking Wraithwell's tomb. Right? I think that was the that was the plate. The way it, I remember it is the <laughs> oh, there's a place where we had that argument about your age because you wouldn't tell me how old you were. And then Fee just DM'd me and told me how old you were. I have... I don't know what it is with the people that I seem to come in contact with, but they seem to have... Like, it's not just Fee. Like, people seem to have an annoying habit of like, hey, you know something about me and I don't want you to share it with the people around me. And then they fucking immediately do it. Like, I'm still actually mad at Fee for that, because, like, I, it wasn't their fucking place to say that. But then, like, a similar conversation happened about my birthday with Brayden and one of his fucking, like, friends that are, like, an actual <laughs> asshole. I'll say this live on stream. I'll start, I'll start all the drama. Where it was, like, fucking... No, go in this thing. Yeah, you can't go in yet. Um... Where it was like talking about like birthdays and star signs, and uh -huh. like I wanted to make uh like I I didn't want my birthday to be talked about. I didn't want them to know what my fucking birthday was. So it was like like please don't say what my birthday is as the conversation came up. The first thing he does is like oh yeah Aretha was born the X of Y. Like, it seems to be like a weird habit of the people I keep on hanging out with who keep on just like having no problem repeating information I don't want repeated to people I don't want it repeated to. You know? Uh huh. What? Uh, the same. Sure. Those two scenarios you listed that does seem to be a thing. PRB leaking your social security number? I'm an Australian. We don't have social security numbers. Where the fuck are you going? Uh, I saw a teleporter very close to here, so I just thought. Bro, who cares about star signs? I don't believe in them personally, but uh, like. Well, yeah, neither do I. But it's just a thing. Sandstorm in the desert of Hardrum, whatever. Sandstorms occur immediately in the third vision is sharply. Okay, is that it? I just got like a notification yeah. for that. It's just weather, but desert. And you can turn the sandstorms on once you have the genie. You mean off? Huh? Off? You could turn them on too. Tyler, I can turn anything on if I try hard enough. Yeah. What was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> my confidence. <laughs> I was. That was just my brain was like, "What is the mo? What is the simplest but most like cutthroat response you could have to that?" Yeah. And it was. Yeah. yeah, my confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my brain goes, the funniest possible response you could have here is also the meanest one. <laughs> What's the meanest response you could have? <laughs> so mean! <laughs> you even want this? Yeah, no, I'm in the same boat as Cell, but I, uh, uh, my partner likes to care about them, and I don't, I'm not gonna, like, take that away from them, obviously. Right? Right. 
because, like, there's no point in that. I think there is, like, some validity to the possible idea that, like, being born during a specific era, like, or during, even during, like, narrowing it down to, like, a specific season could affect, like, something about, like, just specific aspects. Right. Nothing so general as to, like, the personality. There's so many factors that, like, just... I think that environmental factors always affect your... Like, like even your... for something simple, like, I'm used to not celebrating my birthday with friends because my birthday was always in the beginning of the school year. Yeah, no, I think there's, so, al like, I think there's always loads of environmental factors that affect your, like... There's Winoot around here, careful. There's what? Winoot. That you know, thing. You know, I can see the ground, right? You made mm -hmm. me stop and get hit by it. Yeah, but I saw that we were entering the Winoot zone. You so made like, me stop out. and get hit by it. I it's wouldn't not my have fault gotten... you have to stop moving to listen to me, guy. I'm an old man. I can't look around and walk sure, sure. at the same time. One no. Time. <laughs> no, you know I can't hear you without my glasses, dearie. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> but, like, my That's take on enough. it is that even if there is some degree of, like, uh, effect of your environment of growing up. That's not the stars. Busted. Right. <laughs> They're too far away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's keep going but like again, I have no problem with the fact that uh, they're in the Like you know, like that doesn't affect me. But when the conversation came up about it, and, like, my opinion was, like, asked, the point I wanted to make was, uh, that, like, because they didn't know when my birthday was, uh, I wanted to be like, guess my star sign. Like, this is my point. The point I want to make is, if this is determined, it should be backwards, like, it, what, what's the term for, like, figuring it out based on the answer? Like, it's like a math term. Retroactive. Relax. No, I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, reverse engineering. It still's got it. You should be able to reverse engineer it, right? Like, if people's personalities are based on the stars, then you should be able to guess what stars are, quote unquote, my stars based on my personality, right? It's that one stand-up bit where they're like. Yeah. Uh, what what star sign? What star sign am I? You're you're Cancer. Oh my God! Yeah, I can't believe you guessed that because you're wrong. Like you know, like that's you know. I'm actually a this. I knew it. No, no you didn't. I lied about that too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I wanted to. We do could that. go out. We could go all day. There's no. You got ten more guesses. <laughs> yeah. Like I wanted to do to that. A conversation. But, like <laughs> just to occupy. But because Brayden already knew my birthday because they've known me for like five or six years. The first thing they did was just like, oh, you're this because you were born this. I was like, no, you... So I always lie about my birthday online, no actual evidence of when it is. Well, also... Never mind. <laughs> I immediately had to stop myself there. But, uh... Yeah. Um... I think, I think I'm done for today. I would too. I think you are... Aries. <laughs> Tyler, that is such a Virgo thing to say. Oh, hey, at least I lied about what Justil's one was. <laughs> Wait, are you, you actually? Bitch. Yes. That was just a guess, I promise. Born in the beginning of the school year. September. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> Early September. I don't know which one's a which. Virgo was just the first one I picked. <laughs> <laughs> no I, I, mean, I guess we've I mean, star signs. Uh, I mean, yeah, Tyler, I, I I knew it because I just know your personality. 420 is almost an Aries, so, like, we <laughs> kind of sort of got it. I think 420 is considered Aries Taurus cusp. Quit following me. I always get Tyler's confused not a Virgo, we've done the do before. <laughs> Yeah. So does that mean you're suggesting your star sign is one of the star signs that are not supposed to be compatible with Virgo, Asil? Is that the only no, hint we're getting? No, because Virgo means virgin. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Way overthinking it. Dumb it down. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's coming in porch. <laughs> There's no need to exchange pleasantries. Um, it's rather pathetic to force a I haven't used a brain call a all night. Yeah, good work. <laughs> I haven't used a Brian cell all night. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab this chest because I can see it. I was just thinking you keep running towards it and then running away. Yeah, I, I noticed. That's why. Busted. Oh, I keep on getting so fucking confused because Sino is supposed to be my number one. So I do something with Yelan and then I start hitting one. And she just stands there awkwardly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> Me and Tyler have never been together, even though I wanted it for ages. Whoa. Too slow. She was not obvious about wanting it. At least not for my autistic dumbass. And, like, now is it too late? Like, what's the story here? Uh, not interested. Ouch. Not like that, anyway. Ouch. <laughs> I'm really sorry you had to deal with this rejection, Asil. <laughs> oh, there's another chest I mean, up there now. <laughs> I mean, she got this pussy. I think she's fine. I think she's dealing with it. Yeah, he didn't want it, I got over it. I don't see the big deal, because I'm more of a fan of the other end of the spectrum, but... I mean, she seems to think the pussy is a pretty good consolation prize. This is just a random elemental monument. It doesn't even do anything. It gives you a gust of air. So it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> Cause you can still reach that from down here. You can still reach the, the tether point. Oh, actually very slight. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it flashed for a second. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, you do it doesn't. <laughs> Dude's too cool to be salty about it. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna... Cool friend better than getting pussy. As a gay <laughs> man, I can cur. You know? <laughs> uh. oh. Ha! Gay! You're gay. My gay what, Tyler? Yeah, that's what I no. thought. No, as in with the apostrophe. Why you apostrophe? Hold on, can you spell that again for me? <laughs> why you apostrophe Ari? <laughs> Your. <laughs> One more time. Why you apostrophe Ari? Oh yeah. Are you 100% yeah, conf confident on that? I'm sticking with it. I'm committing. I'm committing. Can you spell U? E Y E? E W E. E W E, that's what it was. <laughs> Too slow. E Y E? What is Y E S though? E Y E S though. E S? Yes! <laughs> hey Tyler, in that line of uh -huh. thought, I have a, a bit of a riddle for you. Okay. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the tallest mountain? What? Before Mount Everest was I've discovered, what was drawing? the tallest mountain? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, isn't Mount Everest not actually the problem. tallest mountain? Like even after it was discovered. It is. 
I thought it was Mount Kilimanjaro. No. Alright, well, it's still Mount Everest. Yeah, you thought too hard about whether Mount Everest actually was or was not no, the tallest mountain. No, I knew mountain the answer was. Action. No, I knew the answer was Mount Everest. I just had a side thought that I was like, I already know the answer to this, so I'll just bring up this side tangent before I forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hey Tyler. Oh, you're gonna like the the Haravitat Galibu, uh, because they're all like little like not riddles per se but like logic challenges like i that. i love that kind of shit so much tyler come into the card uh come into the cat's whatever the fuck it's called the cat's paw sure cat's tail cat's you're close whatever same difference one more cat body part cat stick one more cat's ear try again cat's nose you're getting further away <laughs> Cat's eyes. Closer. Cat's teeth. You're getting further away again. Am I? Teeth are lower than the mouth. Come yeah, into the, the cat. The sorry, sorry, I thought you were a scaly. I so many levels of angry. Still, you're doing this <laughs> on purpose. Furry, uh, <laughs> fight me. The only reason I would ever, I I I would fight differentiate me. between fight me. Scalies and furries because I would only consider myself a scaly. I would not consider myself a furry. We have the exact. <laughs> I forgot I built the same team for you and me because I'm doing your fucking god shit. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hey Aretha, I have a TCG thing I need your help with. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Yeah. Some nerd just challenged you to a duel. Yeah, some nerd just challenged me to duel. Can you help me with this? Uh, sure. Uh, what's your what's your deck? So I have a uh, Gene Sucrose and Katsing. What do they have? Uh, nothing right now. Well, I guess you win? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have Sucrose Gene Kaching. Oh, that makes it completely different. <laughs> I want to help. Ah, shit, I Who picked the I wrong first with? character, actually. You should just play against yourself. Who do I start with? I... <laughs> I don't know how to play this team. Uh, Kaching. You should actually start with Kaching. I meant to start with Kaching. Ironically enough. I don't know what to do with this team. <laughs> I didn't even know what to do with the other team that I had. Um, when you're doing dice, you want both Electro and Anima. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at your Discord if you want me to fucking play this game for you. What? No, uh, figure it out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good start, actually. Yeah. This isn't going to be as satisfying a fight as I think you think it's going to be. Why? I didn't Because think... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Obviously, that's <laughs> part of the fun. Um, do I still have the... I do, but then I don't get to attack. Uh, fuck your ka -ching. Animal test, 6308. Hmm. Okay. If you have the fucking dice to use her skill or even a basic attack, you do so much damage to me. Because Swirl is just so bar broken in the card game. That's why I wanted to start as Kaching. I fucked up. Mm. In fact, I'm gonna start again because I want to start as Kaching. No, I had an idea. I'm sorry. I don't want to play TCG. Aretha. Just one. I was supposed to be in bed 40 minutes ago. Go to bed then! Do right now! No, TV? right this second. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Good night? <laughs> I don't have the brain for TCG. I'm sorry I can't be a satisfying partner. That's fine. When you go to bed, I might actually log into your account and do your stuff. Okay. You gonna do that on stream? No. 
because I feel like I've had enough of string. Scaly. I don't know. I like dragons, I guess. And, like, ocean creatures. Would you fuck a dragon? Well, no. Because they don't exist. That's not how that w <laughs> I mean, like, I guess... <laughs> All right, let me, let me take a few steps back. I guess... Way to completely miss the entire point of attraction in the first Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Fundamental. <laughs> like, no, it doesn't exist. That <laughs> fucking got me. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, tell me. I'm gonna get tell, out of here. Tell me what you were gonna say. <laughs> take your few steps back and come back. <laughs> have you have you take two? So I guess the thing about um me <laughs> when it comes to like I guess sex is that I'm kind of a whore in theory, but not in practice. So like in theory, I'd be in. I might, but like. When faced with, say, like a bad dragon dick. I don't know. That seems too complicated. <laughs> Dildos are not that complicated, Tyler. Just use enough lube and go slow. It's... I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah? It's just not, not really my thing. That's... Like, actually doing that stuff. That's fair. It's allowed to not be your thing, Tyler. I like thinking about Naga, though. Navigating Snakes the world is a suited. whole lot easier with a few different identities. Like thinking about other from. people doing it, I guess. Need me to come up with some for you? <laughs> oh, I see. You just, want, oh. You, you just want to cock furries. Okay, I get it, man. <laughs> you just want to be a furry I just... cock. I, I like fanfic. Or, as, again, as specifically, like, I don't, so I don't differentiate between scalies and furries because, like, I do we don't... because I have allergies. <laughs> Real life. <laughs> <laughs> Starting any furry based sentence with real life. <laughs> and now I'm missing the point of the furry fandom. <laughs> if furries were real. Well, like, I think even if we're in real life, right? Like, this fursuits must create, like, dander, right? No. Because fursuits are not made with real animal fur, because that's animal cruelty. Right, but like, it's still, like, it's still full of hair, right? When you're allergic to cat hair, you're not just allergic to all hair and also cats. You're allergic to specifically <laughs> cat hair. There's something in the makeup of cat hair specifically that makes you allergic to it. I'm just allergic to air in general, though. To air in general? <laughs> just, I've got general allergies. Not specific to, like, an animal. Okay. So, like... But... That has nothing to do with animals, then. And so fursuits fur, would not... dander, pollen... What the dust. fuck is dander? That's not a word. Dander is, like... It's, like, general fur shit. I've never heard I think it, it describes, like, the kind of allergens you would get off cats or dogs or anything with fur, basically. I don't know where I'm going. Take it easy. I'm trying to find the artifact shop. Oh, what am I doing? No, I don't want the Sumeru one. Blech. I want the Inazuma one. Because I've fin I've maxed the Sakura tree. Have I maxed the Sakura tree? Have you? I if think you I have. Inazuma, I feel like you ought to. Yeah, I definitely have. Because I've bought stuff from the, the Inazuma artifact shop before. And you maxed the space onion, haven't you? I've maxed the space onion, and I've also gotten all of the things from the diamond shop. Yeah, the I'm artifact shop. Um, yeah, so... If you're literally just allergic to particles that are shaped like fine hairs, like, fursuits probably will fuck with you then, but... The being a furry is not a, like having a fursuit is in okay, no way but like okay so that's in real life but also like if you think about the like real life application of the fantasy element right uh -huh. Anthropo an anthropomorphic cat person would have fur like a cat wouldn't it uh suppose 
Wait, why can't I buy stuff from them? Oh! From I know why I can't buy stuff from him. Because you're, you're still in. here! Well, because I'm still in the mode where I could have you here. Because <laughs> you're a multiplayer. That's why I always have you pick me out, because that puts us both in single player. <coughs> in one coin move. Um, they would have hair. Like, like when you think of the real life application of like the furry fantasy, Tyler, there's a lot of things that don't make sense. Like, like, uh, and this is where the conversation will get weird. I'm gonna tell you the the most prevalent one, right? The conversation's gonna get weird. You understand? Like, this is like this is just what's gonna happen, right? But the amount of furries that are into taking dicks that are way too big for the their character to take that would literally kill them because it's literally killed real people when they've, like, tried to fuck with actual horses, which is gross as fuck. Like, mm -hmm. the amount of furries that literally just have rubber for insides, like... Uh-huh. Right? Because you can train yourself to do that. Uh-huh. You cannot train yourself to have a dick that goes up to the inside of your chin, Tyler. No, I disagree. Um. <laughs> I zoned out a little bit. I thought we were just talking about, like, kind of big dicks. Not like that, but, like, alright. Yeah. I, I understand now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm talking about, like, actually they're just hollow on the inside. Like, you mm -hmm. know. I have characters who are that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Slut. Maybe you're more of a fuck. You're like the more I learn about you, the more I. think- I'm a monster fucker. Yeah. I don't like fur though. That's where the distinction lies. Well, so that I think actually makes sense. And the, I also think, and also the more animalistic it gets, the more turned off I get. Yeah. I like mostly humans and like kind of like maybe they have like ears, I guess. And then things that like I like um, interesting humans. But then what about like things that are almost entirely monster as well? Is what you're saying? Like I guess it depends on like what part is monster. If we're talking about like like you said Naga, like a earlier. like Naga, yeah. They're not. They are mostly got... human. They are not mostly human. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on which lore of Naga you're looking at. Because I'm thinking of top half. It's like a mermaid, but it's a snake instead of a fish. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I would a, call that mostly person, not human. Presumably hot. I would call that mostly not human, though. Because, That's, like, like, human enough for me, though, because it's got a human face. Well, no, because, see, the thing is, most fur, like, most furry creatures have four appendages. Like, they have arms and yeah, legs. Yeah, but... Opposable thumbs, yeah, toes, I don't, feet. I don't care about that. Okay. <laughs> I care about the face, generally. This is a conversation that we are having live on Twitch. It sure is. <laughs> I should have been in bed 15 minutes ago. Go to bed, Tyler. <laughs> I'm gonna end my stream here on this embarrassing <laughs> note. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna hope to get Baiju. How many Primos do I have? Do I have enough for one more pull? I do not. Oh. I, I will get Baiju. You will. Because I have enough time to, easily. Especially with the event. Yeah, exactly. Which we'll be doing this weekend. And also if you want to do all those hanging events now. Well, not now, but yes. Within the banner time, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. It's getting worse, Tyler. The longer you stay here, the worse it's getting. Quickly, go, Tyler, quick! Ah! Your icon didn't Did you disappear. On that? I, was, I hope you.